Welcome back. Oh man, what a great game. It's a little cute game that we're playing here. This little Pokemon game. I love this remake. It's so much fun. Anyway, good to see you guys. How have you been? Did you guys all catch up with us and see the previous episodes? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hands up. Who is here? Who's been waiting? Did you guys get lunch at least? Oof, man. I gotta go get another cup of coffee or something. But uh, no, we've been up since like what? Maybe six in the morning? Getting ready for this, and now it's like a part two live stream. It's a great time. Thanks so much for hanging out. What up? Hey, what's up, KH? What's up, Kelly? Gemma, J Mac, hello. Grisama's in the house. Laney's here. Go to bed. <laughs> Those of you guys in the Australia region, dude, go to bed. It's like early in the morning for you guys. Uh, what's up, Matthew? Good to see you as always. Star Lord, what's happening? Hey, Springy, good to see you. What's up, Gino, Melissa, Bex? Who else is here? Michelle? Hi, hi. How have you been? Great. What's up, Brady? Hey, Adrian. Mackenzie's in the house. What up? Hello. Oh, it's good to see all of you. D-Retro, Peach. All of you guys are, are legit subscribed to the channel, which is amazing. Thank you so much for doing that. We've got subscribers only mode on right now. It's a good time. It's a good time. Oh my gosh. Our team is looking so cool. Our team is looking so good. Anyway, I can't wait. I think it's going to be a, a great time on today's episode. We might get another badge. I don't know. Uh, we got to go make our way through Eterna City. We got to go see what kind of Pokemon are kind of floating around in the areas. I think it's going to be a great time. So yeah, yeah. Very, very excited for today's episode. A couple things that we want to talk to you guys about before we get started. Again, thanks for watching the series. Thanks for tuning in. A couple things. What are we looking at? What are we looking at? All right. So if you take a look at the main channel page, uh, we've got tons of Pokemon content happening. We're going through the game right now, which is a really, really fun time. Uh, part two is happening here. You can find part three, the link to it right on the bottom there. You can easily open that up in another tab. And uh, if you didn't already take a look at part one, please do so. It was a blast. Absolutely had a great time with that. Second announcement is we've got some really, really cool merch to coincide. Mine's in the mail. Otherwise, I'd be wearing it right now. Um, this one's a cool Mystery of Legend tee. I think it uh, may or may not have a secret uh, message in the background. I don't know. Uh, it's like solving an escape room. Anyway, definitely pick up one of those. Use the coupon code PEARL10 at checkout to save 10%. And if you guys are members, you have more coupon codes on the Members Only Community tab. Uh, next up is the Abdallah Smash plushie. Make sure you guys pick up one of those. They're so cute. Uh, we had a couple of them sold since the last time we talked. So shout outs to uh, a couple people over here. Uh, you can see over here that Star Lord 02 and then uh, Deathstroke also uh, got one and MJ Honold as well. So thank you for supporting the little plushie. He's a really cool guy. I like him a lot. And uh, there's only like a week left. Otherwise, they're done. They're gone forever. So I still have to purchase all of mine. So 500 is the goal. Help us out. Okay. And then I think that's it. I think we're ready to play. So let's see some thumbs up in the chat if you guys are ready for another uh, a couple rounds of uh, Pokemon. Let's see how far we can get in this specific uh, run. And uh, we're having a good time. Yeah, our team is is looking pretty good right now. So really happy about that. Uh, we've got a little Monferno level 17. Kazaa's doing well. Uh, Luxio. And then we've got some space holders uh, for pretty much, I don't know, whoever else we want to bring on the team. Uh, I feel I might need an elect... Uh, wait, I, need, I might need a water type. I don't know who is going to be available in that. Um, I might need a grass type. I definitely want to get a dragon type. Uh, but I don't know where Gibble is yet. We'll have to find out. So anyway, you guys are great. Thank you so much for watching. Let's get started, shall we? I see a lot of thumbs up in the comments. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Tegan. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, Michaela, Whimsy, Lorelai, good to see you. Alex, Israel, what's up? Uh, Ellen, good to see you. Jenna, hey, what's up? Uh, Next Dev Rising, BWA, welcome. Okay, let's jump in. I'm excited to see what happens next, right? All right, let's do some work. Low battery. Oh, come on, man. We can't start with that. Give me this. Give me this plug. <laughs> What's this low battery nonsense? Give me that. I guess I should have charged this bad boy, right? Anyway, we're good. <laughs> start off with, like, low battery. Perfect. Welcome back, everyone. It's Abdallah here with another exciting episode of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. We are ready to continue our adventures. We made it to Floroma Town, which is somewhere brand new. Ooh, I'm excited for this. Hello. Why, hello there. It looks like you played Let's Go in Kanto before. Would you like to go on an adventure in Sinnoh with this Pokemon? Hello? 
<laughs> okay. Wow, would you like to give Mew a nickname? Oh, that's so... I just got a Mew. Where would you like to send Mew to? Uh, let's, let's see Mew's summary really quick. Wow. Uh, hello, thank you so much. Uh, calm natured Mew? is pretty good. Look at that. Oh, that's great. Uh, so calm means minus attack plus special defense, so it could be a bulkier Mew. Right, I guess that's kind of cool. Uh, pound and reflect type? What the heck is reflect type? User reflects the target's type, making the user the same type as a target? That's interesting. Wow. Okay, well, that's cool. We got ourselves a Mew. Will we be using Mew in the game? No, I will not be. I will not be giving Mew a bunch of random EVs through leveling up. Absolutely not. So we're gonna send Mew to a box. That was cute. I'm sure I'll be a good partner to you. And likewise, right over here, hello. Oh, you there. Uh, I gather you've seen a wishing star before. Would you mind taking this Pokemon? I think it would be perfect for you. And you get a legit Jirachi. So two mythical Pokemon at the very beginning of the game. This game is going to be easy mode if it's not already easy mode. Would you like to give Jirachi a nickname? Uh, no, I would not. But uh, we can take a look at Jirachi's summary. Uh, pretty cool. Steel Psychic. Quirky Nature. That's okay. So Quirky Nature is a neutral nature. Doesn't give any boosts anywhere. Serene Grace is also very good with Iron Head. Uh, and you can see over here Confusion and Wish. So if you guys were looking for a Psychic type Pokemon right off the bat, and you didn't want to go through 16 levels of Kadabra, you can play the game with your Mythicals. Go for it. Am I going to be playing with the Mythicals? I'm not. So we're going to send Jirachi to a box. So simple. I wish you and this Pokemon the grandest of adventures together. Aww, isn't that cute? Well, thank you so much for those Pokemon. Um, we're not going to put them in our uh, party. Again, what I like to do with legendary Pokemon is I don't like using them throughout the story mode. I like to like keep them until the very end. And then once I'm ready to EV train them, making sure that they have the correct stats and like plus 252 attack, 252 speed, like all that stuff then I'll start going with them. But you guys can play the game however you want to. If you have the saved, saved data of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, then you'll get Mew. And if you have saved data of Pokemon Sword and Shield, then you'll get Jirachi. So that's kind of great. Hello again. Do you know about uh, Gracidia flowers? Wow, isn't that a shaman thing? They're given as bouquets uh, to express feelings of gratitude. It's an enduring tradition around these parts. Gracidia flower. Isn't that something that you use with, like, to change the form? Oh, I don't know. I got drawn here by the sweet scent of honey. Seriously, what's that? What am I, a Pokemon or something? Mmm, honey. I simply love it here. The atmosphere is so uplifting. You came to get emotionally healed, too, didn't you? No, I didn't. I wanted to get some flowers from the Floroma Meadow, but Galactic guys uh, came along. And those guys went to the Meadow past the flowers here. Okay, interesting. Hello, that's a beep beep. Uh, do you think it's cute how Pokemon pluck berries? No, I don't. Oh, I guess I just like weird things. Yeah, you're right. That is that is a weird thing. Uh, barren, desolate hill, planting flowers because it was a sad place. Nothing would grow. People didn't know what to do. And one day, someone expressed thanks for the blessings of nature. And a whole hill burst into bloom. Isn't that strange and wonderful? It must be the work of a Pokemon. Ah, uh, but some... Okay, okay, yeah, we talked about you. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, berries, yes. Two orange berries? Yeah, absolutely. I love orange berries. That's perfect. I love orange berries. And what are you, cherry berries? We'll take them. Whatever. Orange berries are great at the beginning of the game because that's an item that you can easily... Uh, I'm not going to plant anything. You can easily put these berries on a Pokemon and then they'll uh, they'll recover whenever they need to. So, Orin Berry, I'm going to give to my Monferno, just because it'll help him heal 10 HP whenever he needs it. So, this is going to be a uh, pick a pack of colors flower shop. Free berries available? Cool. Let me have a citrus berry. Hello. Uh, please water berries using this spray duck watering can. Cool. Yay. Okay, okay. Uh, so, now we're playing Animal Crossing. A single berry grown to plant that makes several berries. By planting one, there will be more and more berries in the world. I hope you plant them. I got a Petcha berry. So some of these berries will help out. Um, some of these berries are effort value reducing berries. Some of them just like heal a whole bunch of things. Exchange berries for stickers. I mean, I guess I could, but I don't honestly need any of these stickers yet. Maybe I'll collect all the stickers, but you can see over here that 
you're going to need a lot of berries. So, I don't know, I better get planting. I don't know. We'll mess around with berries later. And then there's a trash can over there that looks exactly like a warp pipe, so... Kinda fun. Alright, so Floroma Town is quite interesting. We will have to go inside all these houses, because remember, we want to explore. We got rewarded for exploration. Some kinds of Pokemon appear if they're attracted by honey. Cool. A Pokemon must have an acute sense of smell. They can smell the honey from far away. All right, I haven't really done anything with honey yet, but uh, I remember that was one of the things that we could use in the uh, in the older games to just attract a whole bunch of Pokemon. So, okay, we've got two options. I can go mess around with the grunts or we can go over to the right. Route 205. Oh, berries, baby. Two Pechas? Yeah, you better believe it. Maybe I should water some. Resto Chestos? Yeah, you better believe. That's kind of fun. Uh, maybe I'll I'll deal with berries another time, man. I don't know. Hello, little one. Hi. Help, help, trainer. Can you get my papa for me? He works at Valley Windworks, but the people dressed like space aliens are mean and won't let me in. Yeah, Valley Windworks. Okay, hi. We, Team Galactic, are conducting research in Eterna Forest. This is as far as you will go. Our research involves catching the Pokemon in the flower meadows of Floroma Town. We're also using the energy of the Valley Windworks for something, but that's no concern to you. Alright, that's cool. Like, have fun. Have a great time. Valley Windworks. Cool. We got a potion. Alright, I'm excited to see what's going on over here. Um, our Pokemon are looking good. Monferno is great. Kazaa has Confusion. Luxio. Yeah, these are our three heavy hitters. Honestly, we don't really have to use them all, but... I'm excited to see. Anyway. Don't you dare go into Valley Windworks. I got orders to keep everyone out if they're not part of Team Galactic. You're giving me a look that makes me think like you're trying to get in. Okay, then. You'll have to battle me for it. Okay, Grunty. Whoa, he teleports us to a galactic dimension. Glamiao? Oh my gosh, good luck. Good luck, Glamiao. This thing is done. Uh, that is a normal type Pokemon who's gonna eat a mock punch. Oh, nice fake out. Good job. Good job. Fake out's really good. Bam. See you later. Beautiful. Team Galactic run. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how he's supposed to win with a Pokemon like that. That's very pitiful. Uh, isn't that just great? Getting owned by some kid. You can't do anything if I lock myself in with the works key. That's right. The other works key's not here. My cohorts in the flower patch have the only other one. Ha ha. In that sense, I'm no longer the loser. Okay, so he's locking himself in. Um, I heard that over here you're able to find a Pokemon on Fridays. Oh my gosh, Pechirichu! Pechirisu, that's cool! I wasn't expecting this old guy. Like, at all. I don't know how I could lower his health. I'm levels, I'm 10 stronger than him. I'm just gonna toss a Pokeball and hope for the best. Petrisu's is so cute. Great. That's how you catch Pokemon, man. You just throw a Pokeball at it. If we learned anything from Pokemon Go, you don't have to weaken them. Of course not. Okay, Kazaa, Bidoof. Headbutt? I guess. I mean, sure. That's better than that. I don't- I'm never gonna use this B-Doof. I just need a B-Barrel, and we're gonna call it. Although, I can find B-Barrel in the wild, can't I? Anyway, uh, this Patrice over here makes electricity with pouches in its cheeks and shoots, charges from its tail, it lives atop trees. Cute. Later, buddy. Wee. Okay, okay, that was enough. Actually, I'll do one more battle. You never know who you're gonna find over here. Patrice is actually a really fun find. And a uh, wild wow, weasel. Okay, these are brand new Pokemon. Will I find a float soul somewhere in the game? I don't know. Dang. Must have been all the bees that, that I was pressing with that, right? Ooh, that was cool. I mean, easy. 
Weasel, cool. It swims by rotating its two tails like a screw. When it dives, its flotation sack collapses. Cool. Uh, yeah. Oh no, we're not gonna use Weasel. All right, adios. I just want B Barrel to evolve so I can get him out of here. That was really fun. We found two brand new Pokemon just chilling over here. Let's try to get one more. Oh my gosh. What is this game? A Shellos? I like Gastrodon. I like Gastrodon a lot. Is this East or West Shellos? I couldn't tell you. I know there's a blue one and a pink one. That's cool. Gastrodon's great. Yo, it's a ground type that we don't have on our team. Uh, I, I love this Pokemon. He's water, too. Gastrodon. Um, I, oof. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think, I think we're going to bring it on our team. It's so cute. Maybe when, uh, maybe when one of our other dudes evolves, we'll, we'll bring it. Man, we're finding all sorts of cool Pokemon in here. All right, Gastrodon is so good. You could switch him in on electric attack because he's ground type. He's good. But watch out for, um, watch out for any kind of grass types, right? All right. Shellos is done. We found three brand new Pokemon. We expanded our Pokedex. Uh, we do have to do a little bit of evolving, but uh, honestly, that really doesn't matter uh, right now. So we just found some cool Pokemon. Let's get out of here. I don't think I'm going to be using Shellos anywhere. Dude, wow. That hurt, man. Oh my gosh. This Shellos, hello? All right, I'm out of here, man. I'm not even gonna, we're not even gonna risk it. Just, I'm capturing this thing because I can't hit it for the life of me. I cannot hit that thing for the life of me, man. Forget about it. No way. I'm just gonna capture him because I'm not gonna try to keep on going at that. All right, thank you, Shellos. Uh, we're gonna go to the box and we're gonna get out of here because I got whooped by a baby Shellos. All right, uh, yeah, Route 205. Oh, we gotta go all the way over to the Floroma Town. And I think it's time to heal my Pokemon a little bit. Uh, yeah, we could. We could, it's fine. I'm like two seconds away from putting like Shellos on my team because that thing is actually kind of useful. We'll see. Do, 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 do. Would you guys put Shellos on your team over any of these guys? Having a water type is pretty good, right? This Bidoof is so closely evolving. All right, here we go, Floroma Town. Let Ooh, okay. It's the meadow. Enough arguing, hand over that sweet honey. Do as we say, Team Galactic will have that honey. We must have it to attract Pokemon in great numbers. Hey, this kid is a witness. What do we do? Uh, we can't have the brat running off to get help. The solution is simple. We must ensure the brat stays quiet. Feel the wrath of my Kazaa Kadabra. With 49 attack stat. Yeah, right. This is not a double battle? Oh, it's not. Okay, cool. I mean, these are Wurmples, like... I don't know, man. Uh, Silcoon? No thanks. I mean, I could just burn all these guys. This is perfect. Oh, look at how sad this Silcoon looks. It's about to get burned by an Ember. Goodbye. I remember... In, like, when I played this run, we had Hidden Power Water on our Infernape, which was so good. This is so lame. They're gonna dock my pay. I'm up next. Battling you right after my cohort was weakened gives me the edge. Does it now? I mean, whatever you say, whatever you say, Grunt. They don't have names, notice. Alright, here's a Zubat. I don't think Zubat's gonna do anything to us. Boom. 
Wow, okay, and Zubek got the burn. Oh, good, 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 good. This is great, this is great. So Supersonic would have confused my uh, my little Monferno over here. And whenever you're confused, you have a 50% chance to either hit through confusion or hit yourself. And it's just really annoying when that happens. So yeah, no thanks. If only you had some decent Pokemon. Uh, this Brad's tough, like really, really tough. Tougher than I can put into words. And I know a lot of words. Uh, we're done for now. Let's get back to the value of works. Oh, what's this thing? They seem to have forgotten it. It's a works key. It must be for the Valley Wind Works. It's of no use to me. You might as well have it. Cool, that's exactly where we were going. We have to save this little daughter, right? This little girl. Surely you saved me. Those goons were trying to rob me of my sweet, sweet honey. They sure were weird, though. You saw how hot they were dressed. Uh, they were saying that they uh, didn't make a whole lot of sense either. Okay, anyway. Uh, take this as a thanks. A jar of honey. Not really sure what we're going to do with it, but we'll hold on to it. If you slather it on a uh, sweet-smelling tree, it might attract the Pokemon. Okay. So, we got ourselves the works key. Let's head on over. We We got ourselves a works key. Done. It's locked from the inside. We are going to use the key. Because there's only two, right? So dude bar like barricaded himself in, and we're just gonna come right in here. What? No way, you have the key? Locking the door was meaningless. I'm the loser in this after all. This is no time for self-pity. I've got to alert the commander. See ya, buddy. I'm gonna go this way first to check this box and this vending machine. Oh, yo, is that Mars? I ain't fooling around, kid. This is how a professional does it. Oh yeah, you're a professional. This is a professional with a cascoon. This Monferno is literally destroying everyone. Was this the best choice? Was the game made for Monferno to everyone choose Chimchar? Seems so. At least the beginning of the game, right? Great. Catch you later. All right, here we go, here we go, bing. Uh, collecting electricity from the Valley Windworks, that's our mission. Okay, so, I mean, there's nothing wrong with collecting electricity, right? Like, go green. Cool, I'm all for it. What are you using the electricity for? Is it any of my business? No, man. <laughs> this kid over here is just destroying them. Sticking his head into everyone else's business. Is that how this game works? Weird. Glam meow. Don't fake me out. Please don't fake me out. I got a mock punch. Good. So fake out is uh, plus two priority. It's You can only use it on your first turn, but it goes before everything. There's not too many plus two priority moves. Oh, is it? I think it's plus three. Yeah, it's plus three, because extreme speed is plus two. Yeah, 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 I think that's how it works. Oh, hello. Look at your little body. I'm one of Team Galactic's three commanders. We've been trying to create a new world that's better than this one. But people have shown little understanding about what we do. You don't understand either, do you? It's a little saddening. So let's have a battle to decide what we should do next. If I win... You leave. If you win, we, Team Galactic, will leave. Mars, hello? Yeah, okay. Uh, hi. Nice hair, for starters. I love the dress. This is cool. Music is great. You only have two Pokemon. That's interesting. Oh no, I don't like super- Oh yeah, you like that, huh? What do you think you're doing to my Pokemon? Well, you just confused me, and that's not good. But I hit through confusion, it's a 50-50 coin flip. It's not good. Uh, per ugly. oh gosh. This thing is huge. Alright, it is a normal type, so we can mock punch it. 
And hopefully hit through confusion. Ooh, fake out. Nice hit. Oh, hit myself. Wow, ow, 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 ouch. And you're scratching me. Yo! Okay, good. I ate the orange berry. Oh, I hit myself again. This is not good. Dude, that Zubat is destroying me. Okay, snapped out of confusion. Alright, luckily this thing is only... Oh, you had an orange berry too, and you're scratching. How much health is this? Um, hello? Five? I can use Ember? Or I can lose. Uh, I need to actually retreat. No, I'm not gonna retreat. We're gonna use a potion. Because I hit myself... Twice. I could take a couple scratches. Let's use this Ember. Oh, Ember, uh, maybe Mach Punch is better. Mach Punch is 40 power, Ember is also 40 power. This is super effective, so it's 80. This is gonna be blaze boosted. Uh, go Mach Punch. Okay, good. So I would have won without worrying about the potion. So that's interesting. Although Power Up Punch would have been a little bit smaller. We'll see, that Perugly was not a joke. So, we got pretty lucky on that one. And everyone's leveling up. Good, good. Let's get this Bidoof going. Alright, and that's Mars. Uh, this can't be. I lost. You annoying brat. Wow. Ouch. Tell me how you really feel. Oops, I messed that one up. That's alright, though. I quite enjoyed our battle. I guess it's time to say goodbye and leave for the time being. Team Galactic. They were saying they had to gather Pokemon and energy no matter what. It was for creating a new universe, or so they claimed. Uh, nothing they said made any sort of sense to me. Anyway, uh, I can't tell you how grateful I am for you to save me. I can finally see my little daughter again. Ah, oh, Papa! Yuck, Papa, you're stinky. Go shower now, stinky. Ah, uh, sorry, they had me working non-stop. Thank you, trainer. You made those bad people go away. I think the balloon Pokemon will come visiting again. Oh, great. Yay, the balloon Pokemon. Okay, so this is where you're going to get Drifloon, uh, right outside the Valley Windworks, which is kind of fun. I don't think, yeah, it's not Friday in the game yet. So, okay, that's cool. So Valley Windworks was done. Uh, our Pokemon do need a little bit of healing, so why don't we just go over to the uh, nearest Pokemon Center via teleportation, spinning around in a circle, as teleporting does, uh, and then get ourselves healed, and then let's continue on. I think this is really fun. And we just recently played through this game, too, so that's so good. Ah, I need these Pokemon to evolve already. Ah. <laughs> Kadabra? I don't honestly know if I should be using Kadabra, right? Because, like, that's experience that I'd be using towards another Pokemon. I don't know. We'll see. It might come in handy. All right, what do you got here? If you slather honey on a sweet-smelling tree, Pokemon may be attracted to that. Okay, good to know. Hello, little child. A quick battle before you leave Eterna Forest. Yeah, that's fine. Camper Jacob. Ponyta? Wow, that's cute. I wonder why the NPCs don't have, like, shiny Pokemon. Like, why is that a thing? So Ponyta's a fire type, as you can see over here. Pretty cool. I can't be using anything besides, like, Mach Punch on it. So it's a two-hit KO. See you later. Gastrodon will be a good teammate. I should really... So I'm, you know, I'm having... Yeah. Flame Wheel. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Flame Wheel's great. So Flame Wheel is a 60 power physical attacking move versus Ember's special attacking move. So we might as well swap it out. Later, Ember. Okay, perfect, perfect. Uh, that really dampens my spirits. Yeah, you know, I think Bidoof's gone. Um, how do I access... Oh, to boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So we've got two of these guys. 
Um, Calm Nature is really good. Oh my gosh, Calm is really, really good. Um, ooh, this one's actually decent. Minus Speed. Sassy. Up Special Defense. Um, I think I'm gonna go with Calm. No, yeah. I'm gonna go with this one. This one right over here is mine. We're gonna get rid of b -Doof. I'm gonna catch a B-Barrel in the future, but I just, I kinda want a little Gastrodon. And he's got like a water type move, so in case I need to, we can use him. I'm not gonna baby him at all. He's just gonna passively grow with the uh, experience share, so we'll be good. Just put him on my team. He's kinda cute too. All right, here we go. Hiker? <laughs> all the hikers look the exact same throughout all the Pokemon games. There's no mountain here, but I'm dressed to hike. Aha, here goes. He's dressed to hike. So we had a battle against uh, Mars, which was kind of fun, and this guy's got four Geodudes. <laughs> all right, four Geodudes. Boom, gone. We're out of here. Geo, dude. Rock throw? Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, honestly, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's get rid of rock polish. I want this Geo dude evolved into Graveler so we can get off my team already. No, we're not going to switch. Machop is good. I, uh, I would love to switch to Kadabra and just destroy him. We're going to use Flame Wheel, our new move. Boom, it looks like all the other same moves. But it's strong. Another Geo, dude. You know what? Dude, Fire Fighting? Man, what a combination. No wonder they use that combo how many times in the Generations of Starters? Blaziken, Infernape. Who else is Fire Fighting? Incineroar? No, no, Incinero is dark, right? <laughs> oh, man. Later, Bidoof. We're one-shotting this entire team. Oh, Embor, you're right, you're right. Embor, too. Oh, my gosh. Three starters were firefighting. I guess that's cool. How can I forget about Tepig? All right, yeah, I guess we're beating up these uh, these little trainers around here. Like, there's just so many little trainers, and uh, we're going to see exactly what where our next area is. Here's Zachary. Geo, dude. Okay, Geo, dude, Mach Punch, Gonzo. Ooh, I wish I had a Bronzor. That's a good idea. Bronzor versus Kadabra? Dude, I'd go Bronzor all the way, man. Having that Steel type? That's really good. Alright, Luxio's growing up. Beating up these guys. I see one little person down here. Actually, we're gonna go up here. What does it say? This is Trainer Tips. Oh, I don't care about that. Thank you. Whoa, another hiker. And we got some grass. Okay. Yeah, there's, there's just a lot of trainers in this route here. And we got another baby uh, Shellos here. Love Shellos. This thing's really cool. Uh, do I even want to beat it up, though? Or should I just run? Because that's just two hit. Oh my gosh, water gun. <laughs> Ouch, man. Get out of here, you little guy. Shellos learned Recover. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize, or I didn't remember that this dude learns Recover. How crazy is that? Repel. I mean, yeah, there, there's just a lot of trainers in this area. Let me beat you up really quick. There's tons of trainers. So let's just beat up all the trainers. We're going to make our Infernape super strong. And we really have to find out who else we're going to put on our team. I really like the concept of having a Gastrodon on the team. He's really good in competitive battling, man. Double, look at that. Bind, oof. Here we go, boom! 
He's good. See you later, Onyx. Kazan 19. We haven't even used Kadabra yet. Honestly. <laughs> gotta do something with it. I gotta find someone to trade that Kadabra with so we have an Alakazam with like a hundred special attack. Hey, I'm trained not to hold back. Alright, Ace Trainer. Whoever you are. Oh, Battle Girl, Kelsey. Whoa. Machop? Ooh, I love Machop. Dude, Machop and Pokemon Go is so good. I have like a Machamp and a Shadow Machamp. The best. Wow, wow, focus energy. Okay, see you later, dude. Goodbye. Yo, he just like boosted his critical hit rate and did no damage to me. Sorry, buddy. Shellos is getting a lot of experience because of how low level it is? I don't know. Should be good. Ooh, we haven't even messed around with the underground yet, uh, JG. We will. We will soon. We will soon. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's a post-game thing. We didn't even get, like, the little explorer kit, so... Hang on to that idea. A Piplup! Uh-oh. A Piplup versus our Monferno. Uh, I'm probably gonna eat a water gun right now. I'm probably gonna eat a water gun. So let's just mock Punch for the two-hit KO. Oh, good pound, good pound. Oh my gosh, what's my health at? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> All right, wow. Yeah, we need to we need to heal up. We're going through a lot of these Pokemon. Monferno already at 20. Yo, our team is big. We got a big team. Karina. If our team's at 20 right now, what is... What is even the next gym leader at? Alright, hello you, bug catcher kid. Uh, you think you get through Eternal Forest by yourself? I will eventually. You seem tired. Rest a while. Okay, you know, this is a perfect... Perfect stopping opportunity. A mom just came over here and let me sleep in her bed. Uh, next to her son. Yay, completely refreshed. Okay, that's perfect. Can we spin around in a circle in this game? And do like a pose? No, you can't. But that's kind of cool that we thought that. Alright. So it looks like we are so close to Eterna Forest, and if we remember uh, from the previous game, we're going to meet a special NPC in the Eterna Forest and escort her through. Do you guys remember who that is? I don't know. We're going to find out, though. But I'm really, really excited for it. So, yes. Cool. This episode, we beat up Mars. We found the little works key. And we're just kind of working our way towards the next forest area. I'm excited. I'm excited to continue on. You guys are great. Anyway, thanks for watching. All right. Oh, this game, this game is pretty cool. I'm liking it so far. I like that uh, there's still a lot of new Pokemon that are floating around over here. I like that different Pokemon can learn different moves at different times, which is not necessarily how it was back in the day. I think that's great. What do you guys think of the game so far? Let me know in the comments. It's good to see you. Oh yeah, it's always a it's always a pleasure. Thank you so much. Uh JG, thank you for the super chat by all means. You're great. Ah good times. Alright. Let's go, let's go. That was really fun. Okay, so what's gonna happen in the Eterna Forest? I really have to like mess around and see what's happening. Okay, hey, look at this. You can rotate your character. You can view your badges. Whoa, look at this badge case. Cool, I never actually looked at this before. Hey, like a sneak peek of what all the trainers are. Fantina, wow. What's on the back? Uh, coolness contest. Oh, battle tower. Oh my gosh. Masterclass singles. Masterclass double battles. Fossil dinging. Statue variants. Oh my gosh. This is going to be intense. This game is pretty big and I can't wait to explore it all. Wow. Anyway. Okay. 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 Good to see you guys. What's happening? Hey, Martin. How are you? Arcadia. Good to see you. What's up, Mackenzie? Uh, Johanna, Clara, good to see all of you. Thanks for coming, Lainey. Uh, Phil's in the house. Uh, yeah, what's up? H. Fenton, hello. I am really ready to just keep on playing through this game. Anyway, let's do some work. 
All right, let's jump into the next one, shall we? Yes, we shall. Let's do it. Hi. What's up, Ray? What's up, Timothy? Who else is here? Toshimitsu, good to see you. What's up, Kevin? What's up, Flying Cow? All of you. Hello. <laughs> it's Pokemon, man. All right, let's do it. And we are back with even more Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. Welcome back. Uh, we have uh, just randomly gone in this person's house. Uh, they offered to heal us up, and we're on our way to the forest right now, the Eterna Forest. We're on Route 205, exploring our way forward. Uh, not really sure where we're going, but we're going to find our way through. Our team is really beefy right now, if you take a look at them. Uh, yeah, we're at like level 20s with some of them. Our Kadabra is like through the roof. We haven't even needed to use Kadabra yet, but it's a good backup plan. So here's Oran Berries. Uh, yeah, we're going to absolutely uh, go Oran Berries. Here's our Monferno. I'm going to do a hold item. We're going to give him the Oran Berry just in case. Oh, I'm not going to use it. I'm trying to give it to him. There you go. Yeah, so our team's looking good. I put a Shellos on my team because I kind of like the typing. It's going to be a water ground type eventually. And maybe it'll just evolve while we're just passively giving it experience. It's better than having a Bidoof. Uh, that's for sure. So anyway, uh, let's just continue on. Hello, you. What kinds of Pokemon live around here, I wonder? You know, me too. I want to catch them all, right? That's the thing. You gotta catch them all. Hello, little one. Picnicker, Sienna. Ooh, a cute little Shinx. Shinx has the Intimidate ability. Mm, so Flame Wheel's not going to be as strong since I'm down one stage of attack. But I'm in... I'm a Monferno, so there's also that. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, Pachirisu? No, we'll stay in. Yeah, ground type is really good against a lot of types. It, ground type is good against steel, rock, electric, poison. Four things, that's really good. Oh, man. Okay, Geodude, level 17, man. Geodude, you gonna evolve into Graveler already? Not yet. Okay, cool. That's fine. Alright, uh, this is the way that I was moving through to get this Pokeball, and then we're gonna go back up and around. So, we gotta make sure that we go through and check everything thoroughly, right? This is a very fun 100% walkthrough, so we might as well collect everything in the game, right? As best as we can. Hello, Aroma Lady Elizabeth. Wow, what are those smells emanating off of you? That animation was actually kind of cool. Aroma Lady. Imagine if you can see smells. What would that be like? Would you want to see smells? Like it would just be like a hazy coloration around wherever you're smelling it? <laughs> I don't know if I'd want to see that. That would be weird. All right, Aroma Lady, goodbye. See you later. All right, I've already beaten up that little guy. We're gonna come over here. Goodbye to you, goodbye to you. Uh, this is Route 205, and here's the forest, right? Many poison-type Pokemon make Eterno Forest their home, but I didn't buy any antidotes. What should I do? Do I press on or do I go back? Well, I mean, you should... Whoa, here's the Eterno Forest. I don't have cut. Ooh, wow, cool, cool. Get red, get ready. Hello, if it isn't you. Hello, my name's Cheryl, and you are? Oh, so your name's Abdallah. I'm sincerely glad I met you. Abdallah, may I ask you a big favor? I want to get through this forest, but I'm afraid of doing it alone. I've heard that there is a sinister group of people called Team Galactic about. I think there will be safety in numbers. Please, may I go through with you? Okay. I'll keep your Pokemon in perfect health. Whoa, look at how fast she can teleport. She's so quick. <laughs> oh my gosh, how is that? Alright, so I bought some antidotes uh, previously. Eterna Forest, where time stands still. Ooh, what is this? Oh, is that the Moss Stone? Oh, that's great! So if you have an Eevee and you level up your Eevee right over here next to the Moss Stone, guess who it'll evolve into? Yes. 
Whoa, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. What? Wait, I don't... Oh, okay, how do I catch two Pokemon? What is this? I don't... Wow, Chansey, hi! I, I don't know what's going on here, but I want... It's impossible to aim unless there's only one Pokemon? What is happening? All right, I'm going for Wurmple. I'm gonna get this thing out of here. Because I want the Baneary. Disarming voice. Thank you for doing that. Um, toss the Pokeball. This is not what happened in the previous game. What? Come on, Baneary. Ouch! What level are you? I want this Pokemon. Thank you. <laughs> that low pony. Oh man, let's go. That was fun. I, I don't... Yeah, that was not how it was in the old game. Like, you just did your solo battles together. When it senses danger, it perks up its ears. On cold nights, it sleeps with its head tucked into its fur. Aw, oh, that's cute. That's a cute Pokemon. I mean, we'll send it to the box. We don't really need it right now. It's Dex Filler. Oh, yeah, there we go. That one's for you, Nicholas. Absolutely. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. Here it comes. Okay, let's go, Cascoon and a Voodoo. This is going to be relatively easy, catching all these brand new Pokemon, right? Hey, Let's go. Oh, I got poisoned by that? Come on, Boodoo. Not good. Chansey, I need you to heal me. I was just cured while we were in that. I cannot believe it. Uh, that's kind of cool. I'm going to power up punch this thing. Just to lower its uh, HP. Boom! Chansey has the healer ability and- Oh, so what are you doing? Okay, good. And then I just randomly healed that. That was so cool. All right, anyway, we got ourselves a Cascoon over here. So this means that all I need is a Wurmple and yeah, so Wurmple randomly evolves into Silcoon or Cascoon. Is it gender in this game? Is it, um... Is it based off of something else? I don't really remember. Silcoon versus Cascoon. All right, so we got Spark, which is great. Uh, I think Spark is a little bit stronger. It's 65 in physical versus 40 in special. So we're going to give him that. Honestly, we're not really using Luxio, but never know. Never know when we might need him. So there's Cascoon, cool. And in case, uh, in case within its tough cocoon, it endures attacks that never forgets the appearance of its foes. Uh, no nickname for Cascoon. Thank you. Later, later. Okay, that was fun. Uh, oh, okay. I, I guess we're gonna jump into this again. Uh, I need a Wurmple this time around, so I'm gonna beat up the Baneary. I like that there's, like, a rainbow that comes out of the, uh, the Chansey. That's kind of fun. So she's got some sort of stickers on her ball capsule. Alright, so we got a wild Wurmple over here who just ate a disarming voice. And Chansey got poisoned. No, you're not going to get poisoned. I don't think so. I don't believe in that. You do not poison my Chansey. Can you imagine if you had Chansey in this game? I would love that. Having a Blissey? Oh my goodness gracious. That would be the best Pokemon on your team. All right, Kazaa, 20. Done. Psycho Cut? Hello? That's cool. I mean, it's a physical attack, but I guess it's kind of cool. Here's Wurmple. It spits a white silk thread that turns sticky when coming into contact with the air. The silk is used to immobilize foes. Yay, no nickname. Thank you, but you can go in a box. All right, so we're going to need Cascoon. I think. Let me find a Cascoon, please. Is that it? Wait, did I get Silcoon or did I get Cascoon? Wait a second, who's paying attention at home? Do I need to catch this thing? <laughs> uh, did I get a Cascoon or did I get a Silcoon? I don't even know, man. They both look the same. One's like white, one's pink. All right, so we got the Cascoon. Good, good, good. I'm glad you guys are paying attention at home. 
because I totally am too. I'm just testing you. Just testing you. Oh, and then there's a little Pokeball icon on the little corner of the health bar, which tells you if you caught that Pokemon already. That's great. I love that. I didn't even need to, um, yeah, I didn't even need to, to, to quiz you guys, man. No, you guys got it. All right, good. Anyone leveling up? No, okay. Well, let's move on. Okay, those are cuttable bushes. Eterna Forest, hello. All right, little one. Enjoy a 2v1. Oh, where did you hide this little kid? I don't, I've only saw one little NPC there. Pachirisu, Wurmple. All right, this should be fun. It's like a double battle. It's kind of fun because the game introduces you to the concept of double battles, right? And that's always cool. All right, so here is Wurmple getting a super effective flame wheel. Done. Pachirisu, probably a quick attack or something. Tackle, nozzle. Monferno's doing work. Level 21, Spark, okay. Chansey took that hit. Sweet kissing. Ooh, wow. Sweet kissing. Oh my gosh. That's really good. All right, Beautifly gone. So, Silcoon, Cascoon evolve into Dustox and Beautifly. So, I don't know if I um, want to put those on my team yet. Maybe. Smackdown? No, I'm okay. <laughs> Smackdown. Boom. Sparkin'. Yao, Chansey, disarming voice. Look at Chansey doing some work. Look at this guy. Okay, so that's Silcoon. That's the one that we need. So yeah, we need Silcoon. It's white and it's got like slightly smaller eyes. Yeah, it's done though. You know, usually the double battles are are pretty pretty easy to beat, right? Like, I remember in the old game, the NPCs, like, Cheryl over here, which was, like, the absolute worst moves, and you're doing all of the heavy lifting. Like, I remember that. I remember the pain of that. To a point where you just want to beat up the Chansey so you're 1v1-ing everyone. All right, way to go, Brianna. Oh, you. It bugs me when people ignore the awesome coolness of bug Pokemon. I mean, bug Pokemon are kind of cool. Have you seen a Mega Beedrill before? Oh, this little kid was hiding right here behind the bush. No wonder. Yeah, Mega Beedrill? Dude, that's a really cool Pokemon. Oh, great. I don't know if I can talk to these people separately. They're gonna just... Woo. Wow, they just beat me up. In the old game, you can just talk to one of them. Wow, look at that! Animations! In the old game, you can just talk to one of them and not be forced into a double battle, which is pretty good. Uh, but these both have Abras, which is kind of fun. I love that. See you later. One HP. Did you really? No, I was going to say. Oh, the Manaphy Egg. No, we didn't mess around with Manaphy Egg yet. Um, someone remind me how to do that? If I pass it up, let me know. We'll, we'll go get it. I got to go hatch it anyway. Okay, Psychic Elijah. Whoa. Hmm. Whoa, okay. Uh, it is I that have gone down in defeat. Okay, thank you so much. Are my Pokemon healed after every battle? Yeah, that's perfect healing. This is like the perfect area to grind up a little bit. Uh, to level up all your Pokemon, in case you want to. But anyway, we got a, we got a Silcoon that we have to find. That is a Cascoon and a Wurmple. I kind of want to run. When do we unlock Mystery Gift? I don't remember seeing that option anywhere. But, uh, yeah, I haven't really exited out of the game, so we'll have to see. Okay, so going to the TV station. Yeah, we can mess around with that later. I do want to hatch it. That is something that I... Maybe I'll go mess around with that after this, um... After this forest. Or maybe... I don't know. Wasn't there a clown blocking the TV station? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe later. Remind me later. Okay, I'm just gonna... We're gonna talk to this one. 
you can single battle these guys. Yeah, 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 you can single battle these guys. This is great. All right, so if you want to do the single battles and not force yourself to do the double battles, you can absolutely do this. Although it takes a lot, a little bit longer. Probably doing the double battles would be a little bit easier. Because then you have Chansey helping out, doing a little bit more, a little bit more work. Okay, level 21, Luxio, keep it up. Psychic Cody, see you later. I think that that's great. So if you're going for like a really, like a solo only run, like I did with Chimchar in the previous game, you can easily do so. Here's a Psyduck. Monferno, I know you can do it. Oh, that means that we're starting to become friends, right? Like if I say things, to Monferno as he jumps out, that means that we're getting a little friendly. Yeah. Okay, Raphael. Uh, is that your name, Raphael? I don't know who you are. <laughs> All right, what does the sign say? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Take the time to search carefully. That's right, keep pressing the A button. Like you're trying to shake a Pokemon. <laughs> like you're trying to catch a Pokemon in a Pokeball. Keep on pressing the A button. Alright, look at these two twins. Wow, five Pokemon right now. Philip, Wurmple. Oh, you got Burmy? Oh, do you know what form Burmy that is? Only the elite Pokemon fans can name which specific form of Burmy that is. Ooh, that's a good question. That's like there's like three different Burmese, uh, and that's really hard. That's a really hard like trivia question. So there's Dustox. Remember we were talking about Silcoon, Cascoon. Burmy, yeah, I don't have a Burmy. But I should be looking around. Oh, yeah. Learning Water Pulse? Look at you. You got Mud Slap and you already have Water Pulse. This is a good Pokemon. Shellos. Alright. You think that that Burmy is a Grass type, but he's not. He's got a Cloak of some sort. That's so that they have they have a cloak. Mm -hmm. Wow, sweet kiss is so good. I think Cheryl does have pretty good hair. I wish that Cheryl did like other things in this game other than just like get escorted through the forest, you know? It's really all it is. Okay, so that Cricketune, that's the evolution of Cricketot, and we don't have him. So, like, again, we're seeing so many Pokemon that I'm like, oh, I need to find all the Pokemon and get their evolutions, right? But right now, we honestly don't need to focus on that. We just need to focus on getting it through the game. Oh, sweet! Yo! This is great! <laughs> we can focus on getting through the game and then going from there. So, look at this. Just a random Dustox uh, comes into play. So we have the full evolutionary line of Dustox. Because Cascoon evolves into Dustox, if I'm remembering that right. Ouch! Tail Whip, what am I doing with this thing? It's a level 12, I need to power up punch it. Oh, I need to really power up punch it. Ouch! What are you doing? It's so strong. And I got confused. Life do. Wow, wee! You just healed me. That's so great. All right, I'm just gonna toss some Pokeballs at it. Okay, this thing is a fully evolved Pokemon. Ouch, man! Thank you, Chansey. You're doing great work. I just need one more power-up punch, and I think it should be good. Wow. Confusion. Yow, man, this thing is 
a threat. Disarming voice, just a little bit of damage. All right, now we throw a Pokeball, and this should be it. Good. All right, we just need a Beautifly, and we need a Silcoon, and we've caught every single line. I don't have to worry about anything. Like, let me catch them all, please. Thanks. Okay, it violently flutters its wings to scatter toxic dust when attacked. It becomes active after sunset. Would you like to give it a nickname? No thanks. Send it to a box. Although finding a shiny Pokemon would be real cool right about now. Just saying. Okay. This? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Items in the darkness. So this is just saying if you like have like an item finder, you'll be able to like find some items on the ground. Dude, no! I already have these guys, but finding a Dust Tox is actually kind of cool. Uh, this is going to be just two turns to knock them both out. Flame Wheel, you know what? This is actually really good. Because you have you have Cheryl, who is legit healing you, and you're getting a full recovery after every single... After every single, like, battle. Every wild battle. And look at how much... I got 244 experience off of these guys? Like, that's insane. It's just too good. But, uh, of course, you don't spend too much time over here. But, like, I, if I wasn't, like, recording this right now, I would absolutely stay here the entire time. And just, like, level up everyone. It'd be so fun. And, like, finding, like, all the other Pokemon. Alright, did we already fight these Psychics? Yes, 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 we have. No! I don't have time for these two. I don't have time for these two. Um, these are just lame, so I'm just gonna run. That's way too long. It doesn't even seem worth it. Oh, sweet. A jar of honey just chilling right here, great. Ooh, a plot of land that I can't even access because I don't have access to cut yet. Oh, hello. Oh, there's the exit. I'm so relieved. We finally got here. I would have never been able to get through this by myself. Thank you so much, Abdallah. Well, see you never, I guess. That's all I get. Okay. Uh, well, uh, we're on Route 205. Let's, uh, let's look around at some of these Pokemon. Oh, berries! Hey, look at Lips over here. I don't need to beat this thing up. He's, he's too strong. He'll, like, confuse me. I like that there's an a level 11 Gastrodon over here, in case I wasn't already uh, raising one. That's cool. Alright, so cherry berries! We're not planting any berries. Not yet. I'll mess around with berry planting a little bit later on. I'm just trying to collect as much as I can. Picking up some free berries, and let's call it. And then here's like the little tree that you can put the honey on and, and get some uh, interesting Pokemon spawns. All right, so we got all these fishermen over here. Um, I mean, I can mock punch everyone. Alexio can do some like electric shocks. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. So some of these guys will battle you, and some of these won't. Let me guess. You got like one Magikarp. Oh, Goldeen. Okay, great. I remember Goldeen was like the OG Magikarp. You remember that? You remember playing Smash Bros? And uh, you got like the Pokeball item. And you're like, oh, right, I'm going to get this awesome Charizard to come out. And it's going to help me beat you. And then like a Goldeen would like flop around. That was the original, man. <laughs> but Goldeen's actually good. Somehow it has the move Peck. Which is like a flying type move. I don't know how that works. It's like pecking with its horn? I don't know, man. Alright, we're breaking all these guys. Alright, here we go. Let's beat him up. Oh, a Magikarp. There we go. We were just talking about it. Boom! See you later. I need a Magikarp. I would actually bring a Magikarp on my team. Having a Gyarados is cool. 
Goodbye. Can I just have one? Like, I would like a rod so I can fish out a Magikarp, please. Oh, dude, this guy's got nothing but Magikarp. I will give you 300 Poké Dollars for it, please. May I have it? A level 10 Magikarp? Man. Do you guys remember? Wow, dude. Do you remember in, like, the first generation, like, right before, like, Rock Cave, you can buy a Magikarp from a guy in, a sh in like, a Pokemon Center for, like, 500 Poké Dollars? How cool was that? He really has nothing but Magikarp. Wow, really? How many Magikarp does this have? He's got all of them. Just like, uh, I mean... <laughs> Can you just imagine, though? Like, if you were Fisher Andrew... Well, I should have been a little more serious about this. If you were Fisher Andrew, why would you even go to battle when you have six Magikarp? I don't, I don't understand. Like, what did you think you're going to accomplish? Charity work? <laughs> like, here, let me level up your Pokemon for you. Here, just beat up these Magikarp really quick. Wow. That's a tough one, man. All right, here we go. Mock Punch. We are punching this dude. Boom. Goodbye. And it's not even a lot of experience points either. It's not even a lot of experience points. I'm running out of um, Mock Punches though. Ow, Peck. No, I've got a lot. I got plenty of mock punches. We're almost near a new town, so Eterna Forest is done. Oh, another Magikarp. Great. Can I just go fishing, please? All right, Zachary. Whoa. All your emotions knotted up. Sorry, man. Okay, Eterna City! We're here! It feels like a uh, great riding a bike, doesn't it? Ooh, maybe. Hello! Hey, you! Yeah, you, trainer! Uh, that's okay. Never mind. You look tough. I won't take, um... I'll just let you keep your Pokemon. Carry on. What? Well, we made it to a new town. Let's do a little bit of exploration, and then we'll call it an episode. Wow, look at the reflection. Ow, man, my eyes. The reflection of the tiles? I don't know how I feel about that. I think that's just showing off at this point for the developers that just like really wanted to polish the game. The devs were like, yo, we need some polish. Like, make the game look a little better. They're like, oh, polish? Yeah, we'll polish the floors and add some reflections that look exactly like you're walking on ice. Sure. Hey, cute little trainer. What kinds of Pokemon are with you? Uh-huh, ooh. Ooh, friendship checker, cool! I like that. Friendship Checker app identifies the Pokemon that like you. Oh, how? Please, enlighten me. Friendship Checker? Uh-huh. Wow, is this it? Do you like me? Do you like me? I don't know if they like, they're just moving. Ah, oh, that's lame. See ya. Never talk to me again. <laughs> Team Galactic took my Pokemon away. They took other people's too. Something should be done, but Team Galactic creeps everyone out. What are they doing to my Pokemon? I don't know, man. I'll help out though. When a Pokemon fates, use a revive on it. Yeah, I will one day. The downstairs is open now. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Okay, anyway, there's the bike shop. Uh-huh, my friend said Team Galactic took his favorite Pokemon away. I don't think he's telling the truth. Team Galactic looks so cool. They don't look like common ruffians. You know, that's probably true. They say it's an old city. No, with all these tall buildings it isn't. All right, what is this? Who are you? Oh, the underground man. The underground man's house? I guess we're getting an explorer kit. Hello. Let's dig up some treasure. I'm from Oraberg. I work at the mining museum. I got advice from the underground man on digging up fossils and spheres. Before I get 
digging, let me share his advice with you. While you're digging, you may uncover dark rocks. They're very hard. If you keep hitting them, the wall will collapse. Keep that in mind, you'll be digging up treasure in no time. What? The Grand Underground sure is massive. Uh, you're gonna have a blast down there, I guess. I'm the first one to have started digging out the Grand Underground. Oh, I am. You can call me the Underground Man. Everyone else does. I'll make a uh, I'll make a gift of this to you. You hold up your end of the deal and put it to good use. I don't know anything about this. I'm excited. Okay, use the Explorer Kit from your bag's key items. Uh, pocket to visit the Grand Underground. Let me mentor you as you become a full-fledged spelunker. Just follow my lead. Alright, a tutorial. Maybe next episode we jump into uh, the Grand Underground. Uh, simply use your Explorer Kit. It can be used indoors. It can't be used indoors or in a cave. Now give it a try. And you just dig underground? Oh, cool! It's Rourke! Is your first time here? Welcome to Sinnoh's Grand Underground. There's a network of tunnels, caves, and canner caverns lying beneath Sinnoh. Huh, what am I doing in this expanse of a place? It's kind of hard to answer. I mean, you can do pretty much anything you want down here. For instance, you can dig up fossils and treasure, or you can make your own secret base. You should talk to the underground man in Eternity City to learn more. Why is the way to go back to the surface? Remember, why? I have to get going now. I'll see you around. Um, hello? What is this? Dude, this is insane. I'm going back to the I'm going back to the surface. This is too much for me right now. Let's mess around with it next time though. Okay, ah, uh, so you've gone underground. Well done. Take these as a reward. Red sphere? What are these things? Blue sphere? Green sphere? There are apparently some Pokemon in the Grand Underground that you can't normally find around here. Meeting a new Pokemon is a hundred times more fun when it's a rare one. Your road to being a Spelunker has barely begun. If you want to know more, just come visit me. Okay, I'm in. I'm in. What do you think? Should we jump into the Grand Underground and just explore it for an entire, uh, you know, half hour or so? I think that'd be great. Yay! That was fun! Okay, so Eterna Forest is done. We met up with Cheryl. Her chancy kept us strong and healthy. We have probably missed a Silcoon and a Beautifly, but we'll eventually get those a little bit later. Not a big deal. Um, and now we've landed in Eterna City, which is going to be home of another gym badge. Yeah, I'm excited. All right, I think we should totally go under the uh, underground and see exactly what's happening. But yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Yay! Underground. Underground. I think it'll be super fun. Anyway, you guys are the best. We'll see you soon. We shall see you soon! Oh my gosh, the Grant Underground sounds really, really fun. Like, no joke. It sounds so cool. I don't even know what's over there. Man, I heard you can get like rare Pokemon and statues and underground basing. All right, what do you guys say? You guys choose the path, right? For this next little section, should we go underground? Or should we just continue on with the story and see what like the contests are and find Gardenia and destroy her with our Monferno? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm going to be right back. Um, yeah, I'm going to be right back. Give me like two seconds and then we'll just continue on with our live stream. Thanks so much for watching. You guys are awesome. Anyway, see you in a second. All right, so what did you guys say? Underground? 
Get the bike? Can you use the bike underground? I don't even know, man. Grab myself a protein bar, got myself some water, and we are in it for the long haul today. Anyway, Nicholas, what's going on? Welcome to the Superstar VIP tier. You're amazing. Um, and since this is a, a little halfway point, uh, I wanted to say thanks to all of you guys that are supporting the plushie. You guys are great. Lots of things happening over here. Let's take a look. Four thirty-two. We're almost at like four fifty. Holy moly! That was great. That's really good. Thank you so much. Um, we've already unlocked the hot ones last dab challenge where I'm going to be eating this hot sauce that's right in front of me every single day. I'm looking at it, man. Yeah, right. I would probably die. <laughs> so anyway, we had a whole bunch of fun benchmarks. Uh, help us hit our goal of uh, 500. And while you're at it, definitely uh, consider picking up one of these mystery of legends teas. You wish you can figure out what the cipher is. I don't know. But anyway, all right, I'm ready to go. I want to go underground. I want to see what it's all about. When, admittedly, when the game came out in uh, Diamond and Pearl, like the original ones, like I never messed around with underground or secret bases. I thought it was just kind of extra stuff, didn't really care too much about it. I was like, get me to the end of the game so I can breed Pokemon, so I can make competitive, viable Pokemon, and I don't really care about the underground. So, this is all going to be new to me. So, I'm really excited to see what's up. Okay, let's jump in. You guys are awesome. Here we go. You gotta stay hydrated, man. Ooh. But our team is looking really good. Our team is looking great right now. Just taking a look at everyone. Yeah, Monferno. I mean, I have no doubt in my mind that this team's gonna be able to carry us. I don't know if we're honestly going to need anyone besides Monferno, right? Like, everyone's there, right? Anyway, here we go. We are back. With even more, Pokemon, Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, thanks so much for coming. You guys are amazing. Uh, let's continue our exploration. On the previous episode, we uncovered the uh, Explorer Kit. So what I wanted to do on today's episode was mess around with that. Like, we honestly haven't done anything with the Explorer Kit. I do want to see what the Underground is all about. So, uh, wow, what is this? I guess I'll go Internet? Okay, well, yeah, let's go into the, um, yes. So you can go with a group of friends and or a link code? What happens then? Okay. Uh-huh, connected to the internet. What happens? Are there people walking around? I don't even know what this is. What happens when I'm moving over here? Oh my gosh, that's a Gastrodon? Excuse me? I could shortcut this right now. I could just have a Gastrodon. What level are you? Oh, a level 20 Gastrodon. I'm about to get owned. Hello? If this thing uses a water gun attack, I'm done. Great! Oh! 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 Ouch, man! Ouch! Please don't! You're so strong! Folks, what is happening here? Am I- am I about to get wiped? Am I about to get wiped by this thing? Good flinch. Oh yeah. Am I about to get wiped by this Gastrodon?
Yo, we got that thing down to one HP. That was so good. All right, I I don't think I'm ready for this yet. Let me let me get out of the underground. Let me get my Monferno back. That was so cool. It apparently uh, had a huge shell for protection in ancient times. It lives in shallow tidal pools. Give him a nickname of Monkey Destroyer. That's what he just did. This is cool. All right, I need to go back to the surface, man. What's call? Oh my! God. I don't even know what this is. I don't know what this is. I'm excited though. I'm gonna go Grand Underground map. Where are we? Oh, this is great. I'm going. I don't know what 20 out of 40 means, but I need to go up because I lost my monkey. This was so fun to see. All right, you know what? That's cool. I'm right at the Pokemon Center. Let's get ourselves healed up. And pretty much move through. So Gastrodon is on, is available. Like I can swap out my, my Shellos for a brand new Gastrodon if I wanted to. But I don't know. I kind of like to use the experience, the passive experience to like help level up um, and evolve. So that's kind of cool. Let's do it again. Dude, underground is so fun. Why am I going here? Finding a rare Pokemon? Yeah, all right. So right now, this is just what we're doing. Like connecting to the internet, I kind of want to see what happens when you do it. So anyway, we've got some time. Okay, so this was like a little water area. Right? So according to this, I wish I had a bike to go a little bit quicker, but we're just gonna be running. This was the water area where I found a Gastrodon. This is called the Fountain Spring Cave. With Shellos, Gastrodon, wow, they're all over here. This is kind of fun. Okay, we found a little habitat with Gastrodon. Level 20s, I can go grinding there if I wanted to. Let's see what the little blue icon is. It's someone's secret base. How do I make a secret base? Wow, how did you get all these? How did you get these cool Pokemon statues? I can't wait to figure this out. This sounds like some post-game stuff that I would really want to focus on. What is this? Is this where my secret base is? Would you like to try digging into it? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Oh, there's a note tucked inside the Explorer Kit. Digging for fossils. I put a sledgehammer and a pickaxe in your Explorer Kit. Use them and you'll be able to dig out all sorts of stuff from the walls uh, before it comes tumbling down. I'm sure you can do it. Okay, so I've never done this before. What does the hammer do? Oh my gosh. Okay. Oof. Is this what I want? Oh my gosh, hello? What is this? Is that it? The wall's breaking down. Where are the items? Oh. Oh, come on. The wall club. Did I get the item? Did it just shine? I don't know what happened. All right, that was pretty interesting. I picked up something. No idea what that was. Hello. Hi. Got any small spheres? Uh, yeah. Oh, look at this. Uh, fling, recycle, thunder wave, sleep talk, pluck. Oh, cool. Yeah, I, I don't have any spheres. Interesting. All right, well, let's go take a look at this habitat if we're gonna find something cool. Gastrodons again, man? I don't wanna get owned. That's all I'm getting is Gastrodon babies. Yeah, these guys are gonna destroy my Monferno. That's all I'm getting is Gastrodons. I mean, you know what? I'm not complaining. A great Pokemon, but like, I'm very curious as to what the, um, what everything is. Hello, hi you. 
Hello, I'm Perdita. Separate zones, if you want to, you should go to the surface first. I'm okay. Am I just in like a water gastrodon zone? If that's the case, that's so cool. There's a diglet. What did the diglet do? Dropped a little something something for me. Okay, so there was also like this wall right here. So I'm pressing the A button near this wall on the... Um... Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, let's try digging. I guess I'm going to learn how to do this. Uh, three things confirmed. So maybe hammer is for like widening the area? For breaking a lot of stuff? It's like Fossil Fighter's Frontier over here, man. I don't... Oh gosh, look at this thing. Yeah, I got something cool. So that's for like a lot. Yeah, yeah. So did I pick that up? The wall collapsed. Did I get? Oh, look, look, look. I got a green sphere large. I guess. Cool. <laughs> All right. So I can see how this could be fun. You could just spend hours like exploring around in the underground. I just want to find some Pokemon. Oh, Magnemite? Cool! A Magnemite? A Steel type? A Steel and Electric type, dude. Magnemite or Shinx? Or Luxio? Who's who's the better Pokemon? You can survive that. That's what I thought. Because you have Sturdy, baby. Yo, give me that Euro Ball, baby. <laughs> Euro Ball? <laughs> Alright, here we go, here we go. Who's a better Pokemon? Let me know what you think. Luxio or Magnemite? Or should we say Luxio or Magneton? And then Luxray versus Magnezone. Dude, I love Magnezone. Can't. Oh, he had a metal coat too? Dude, we caught one with a metal coat? Uh, hello, Geodude, Psyduck. This is fun. Zubat? I don't have a Zubat. Do I have a Zubat? Alright, interesting. Uh yeah, let's um let's just do the flame wheel. I think you can survive it. No, you can't survive it. I don't have a Zubat, so that's interesting. So I'm more curious of, like, what are these little pockets of areas? Voodoo? Don't really need a voodoo. This is a Geodude. Ah, 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 scary! It's a, <laughs> it's a floating rock with two arms! Alright, so I don't need a voodoo. I mean, maybe if I go back into it, will that just refresh the area and we can find another Zubat? Spacious Cave. Okay, Anima Chop! Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Altaria? Altaria's baby form? Uh, yes? What do we think? Yes? Swablu? My gosh. I did not expect to see a Swablu over here. Should I train this thing? What level does Swablu evolve into Altaria? I think I'll put this in my team. When's Geodude gonna evolve, man? Get out of here. Okay, so I don't need Shellos anymore. Uh, let's add it to my party. Since Shellos is actually, I already have Gastrodon. This Shellos is just like, chilling, man. 40 something? Oh my gosh, if that's the case. 30 something? I don't know. All right, Zubat. Bum, bum, bum. I think that's really cool. Oh, that's nothing. Yikes, man. Astonish. All right, we're going to be trading hits here. I got to get the Zubat. Oh, mean look? I'm not going anywhere. Okay, this is a, a fight to the end, huh? 
and I'm gonna get poisoned. Oh, close. Give me like two more of these mock punches and I'm out. One more. Ah, it's risky. I'll do it. There we go. Okay. Cool Zubat, and he's going a lot slower now. Oh, that's kind of cool. I didn't realize that. When they're at low health, their animation goes a little slower. That's cool to see. Zubat, man. We're boosting our Pokedex. This is great. Dude, the Underground has so much. Is this, like, cheating? This, like, in sunlight, it sleeps deep in forests and caves until sundown. Is this cheating? <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do with that Swablu, though, but... Here's a Machop. I should catch another Machop, honestly. Because I don't have, um... I don't have Machoke, right? So let's just catch this guy. If he can survive a, a flame wheel, then I'll catch him. All right, so level 35 is Swablu's evolution. Wow, is that even worth it? Is Altaria even worth it in this game? Wow, we got lucky that that thing got burnt. That would've hurt. And I need to stock up on more Pokeballs, if you guys are noticing here. I'm already at 12. Dawn gave me like 10 Pokeballs. I bought 10 Pokeballs. Man. All right, well, Swablu, you're on the team for a long time. Let's, let's hope. All right, later, Machop. Okay, so this one was pretty cool. I like this little area. Uh, let's go to bag. I think I want to restore Monferno a little bit. Oh, hold on. There's a time and place for everything. Okay. Let me go potion. Easy. Alright, our team's looking good. Honestly, we only have two Pokemon that I'm going to be using. It's either Kadabra or, um, or Monferno. That's cool, you can see who's all entering the Grand Underground. Oh, thanks, Diglett. I wonder what's the point of going underground with people. I'm Matthew, I was digging around here and found an unusual stone. Okay, you gonna give it to me? <laughs> uh, Matthew, you gonna give that? Hand over your stone, man. There we go, yeah. So I'm gonna try to get one thing out of here, at least. Four confirmed. Oh, great. Oh, that's a lot, man. I'm just gonna, like... It's like Minesweeper, almost. Oh, there we go. Is that a revive? Star piece? Oh my gosh, what is that? A max revive? Looks like a max revive to me! Yay! Four confirmed in here? Oh gosh! Um, This looks like an oval stone? An everstone, maybe? Please. Let me have it. Yay! Yay! Look! I'm learning how to play this! Wee! <laughs> Oh, it's kind of cool. Max Revive, Everstone, and Pale Sphere. Yeah, so we kind of knew the shapes of those items. Dude, a Max Revive is going to come in handy. Trust me, we're going to use that. Maybe never. Geodude, Bidoof, who else is here? Give me some good Pokemon. Give me some rare Pokemon. Give me a Dragon type, please. Don't. I don't want to fight a Zubat. What are we, in a cave in Generation 1? And it's just nothing but Zubats? Alright, this is actually cool, man. Yeah, I'm really excited for this game. Since when does... Since when does Zubat learn Quick Attack? That's insane, no way. Alright, I can totally catch this guy. <laughs> I already got him, though. Uh, I think the big hammer is for, like, a lot of... Just, like blasting so you can kind of see where you need to go and then you'd use the little hammer the little like the pickaxe in order to kind of fine-tune it to fine-tune it and um, 
you know, not crack the wall away as much. So really fun. I think that I think it's a cool concept. Do am I gonna find good things in here? No idea. Alright, so anyway, let's go over this way. I wish I had faster travel. Maybe I do this after I get the bike, so it's a lot easier to just kind of run around in. Oh, Volcanic Cave. Look at these new Pokemon. Wow, Skaroopies. And who else? I need, do I need a fire type? Okay, it's just some Skaroopies. That's kind of fun. I'll pick them up. Yeah, yeah, what are you gonna survive? You gonna survive this flame wheel? I got three of them to test it out. Oh gosh, you're a bug dark type? What are you? Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> Alright, I got many more, don't worry. Um... Wow, oh, give me this one. Although, like, this is a good way of grinding too. Like, if you got a Pokemon that has a super effective attack on this, you just beat him up. I'll take a Skaroopy. I mean, it is... I mean, I'm not gonna do a lot of damage to it with Mach Punch. Ew, gross! I need I need someone else to do the work. Ow, man! Alright, Luxio, go. I want this Swablu, dude. Alright, now... We, toxic Spikes? Oh my goodness! Uh, how about a big Spark? And you got paralyzed. Wow, that was unfortunate for you, man. Here's a bite. Look at that. Look at me stopping right at 1 HP over here. Wow, what a good catch. Alright, so we're filling up our Pokedex over here, getting a Skaroopy. We've got some more. Dude, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're paralyzed and you still broke out? No, no, son. Okay, good job, Skaroopy. Hey, here we go, Bug Poison. It lives in arid lands, it buries itself in sand, and lies in wait for unsuspecting prey. Cool. No nickname, we're good, later. So Bug Poison, yeah, that was, uh, that's definitely a typing. Isn't that right? So that was just filled with a bunch of Skaroopy. Kinda cool. Um, I want to come over this way. I think there's like two more of these. Yeah, I don't know, man. This is just a giant... A giant maze that you're just going to kind of look around with. I'm glad that there's a map that kind of shows you your location. But at the same time, Baneri... We got... Oh, dude, Geodude, come on, man. I just got caught on a rock. I don't need to fight a Geodude. All right. At least this should knock him out. Boom. Not? No, you're strong. Curse? Okay, okay, that's fine. Yo, this is, uh... Yeah. There's so many Pokemon in this underground. Like, are we gonna find, like, a dragon den? We found Swablu, which was cool. There's another Swablu if you want it. Uh, I don't necessarily. There's Psyduck. Psyduckington. I mean, we don't really need them. But this is a great way of finding some Pokemon. Will there be rare Pokemon, though? Here we go. Give me, like, two items, man. Ding! Four confirmed. Wow, nothing there, really. There we go. Sweet. Cool. What is this? A blue shard? Yay! Winning! Boom! Boom! Wow, I don't know what those things are. Wow, that didn't do anything. Maybe I have to get these out. Are there anything that I should be getting out? I don't, I don't honestly know. Let's find out. <gasps> Something here! Oof, wrong one. Misclick. 
No, because I misclicked one and I didn't get the blue little sphere. Boo. All right, so, oh, we got some sort of blue shard. No idea. Okay, where were we going? We are going this way. I'll do one more digging, but I really just want to find the, uh, like, the Pokemon spots. Like, this is kind of fun, but after a while, it just kind of gets boring. Cool. Oh. Wow, what is this? What is that? I'm sorry. Charizard? Hello? Okay, so maybe maybe doing this is going to be kind of fun because we can find rare stuff like that. I have no idea what that is. Cool. Oh, and this right here, baby. And we found everything. Yeah, everything was dug up. What's that little dragon thing? Blue sphere, pixie plate, red sphere, and... Pretty stone box? The stone box started to shine? Wow, that's cool! Oh, oh my gosh, that's so cool. That's how we got all those statues. But what do the statues do? How do I make my own base? What is this? What is going on? That was awesome. Oh, Magby, hello. I'll take a little baby Magmar. Give me this little boy. This is fun, man. All right, I'm gonna give you a flame wheel. Enjoy this. Perfect. The perfect amount of damage I'm looking at. Yeah, there we go. Dynamic. What are you doing? Ouch. And I got confused from that, huh? Oh yeah, you think you're you think you're tough, you little baby. I do like Altaria. A lot. I don't think Altaria is Altaria's not fairy, right? Only the Mega Altaria is. Altaria's flying dragon. I guess that's cool. Alright, no nickname for Magby, but we're, we've got Magby for Pokedex. That's pretty great. Oh man, I get, oh my gosh, Onyx, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I love this. Uh, I need, I need more items. Uh, let's go held item. I'm gonna give you a berry, because I have Orin Berry still. Oops, I didn't mean to use. Uh, I wanted you to hold it, okay. This is fun. Dude, we dug out a statue. Can you imagine how many statues there are in the game? We've already seen like five of them. All right, and I don't have an onyx. All right, here we go, mock punch. Two of them, you're done. Enjoy one, there we go, beautiful. Rock polish, you wish you can outspeed me. But with your base 10 speed stat, look at that. Oh, I'm not going anywhere, man. I'm catching you and I'm out. With the two mock punches, get him into red HP. It's like a perfect Pokemon capture. Gotta catch them all, man. Oh my gosh, what? What are you doing? At least he's not attacking me. That's fine, you got it. I got seven Pokeballs. We do have to go back to the surface in a little bit anyway. Um, honestly. Come on, Onyx, what you doing? I don't have anyone that can put him to sleep. So we're we're kind of out of luck when it comes to the best possible chances of capturing Pokemon. I don't have a, a Ralts or a Gardevoir. I would love that. Okay, Luxio, 22, man. We got the, ooh, ooh, man, we got a lot of good Pokemon. Oh, I didn't read Onyx's uh, thing. All right, so Onyx burrows underground and he is a very tall Pokemon. All right, cool. All right. Ah, ah, ah! No! I don't need to fight these guys, man. I'll just flame wheel them and get out of here. Oh, I do love it. Bum, bum, bum. What was that? Ching! 
was a cool experience. Yeah, I love that. All right, moving on. Who else is over here? Who's in this town? This little fiery area. We got a lot of cool Pokemon. I don't need any of these guys. So there's typically about four, four to five Pokemon in here. I think I'm going to search the last two areas. Um, I haven't even figured out how to make a base, right? But honestly, I can dedicate... I can dedicate an entire live stream of just finding absolutely everything in this underground. All right, one more of these, and then we're going to try one more area, and then we're done with it. Four in the wall. Cool. That was lame. Oh yeah, oh yeah! Oh my gosh, yes! This is so cool. What is this, like a fairy thing? Cool! Beautiful. All right, so we got pretty lucky. Oh yeah, all four of them, baby. I <laughs> love it. That's so great. We got some spears, and we got like a new, a new, uh, a thing, a statue. Pop it open. A gorgeous stone box. So you're telling me I'm gonna get a fairy one, Gardevoir, yeah? Oh, Togekiss! I love Togekiss. Wow, 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 wow. What does Togekiss statue star shape mean? I don't know what that is. Where do I? Where do I see all my stuff? Is that key items? Where, where are those? I don't understand. I literally have no idea what to do with that. I have to go talk to the old man. I love Togekiss. That's like the best Pokemon. If I could find a Togepi, I'd be so happy in this game. Yeah, I literally have no idea. It's it, I don't want to go on a record saying it's a shiny thing, but here's Dazzling Cave. Oh, give me a fairy type, please. Who's that? <gasps> Ghastly! I love Ghastly. I don't know how I'm going to attack Ghastly with my Monferno and have it survive. This is cool! All right, uh, 16. Go Pokemon. Uh, go Luxio. Oof. All right, all right. I mean, what do I have, a spark? Ice punch? Excuse me, what are you doing? I uh, guess it with an ice punch. All right, cool. Dude, come on. Hello? You can't take a spark? What are you gonna take? You can't take a bite either. I need this, oh, I, I got another chance at gas. Oh, and mischievous. Okay, that's cool. That's actually cool. Um. What do you have? Play rough, dragon breath. Yeah, you know what? All right, all right. Your time. Your time to shine. <laughs> your time to shine, Swablu. Do your best, man. Do your best. All right, catch me these Pokemon, please, with a dragon breath. All right. I just need his ghastly, please. And I want the Mr. Vest, and then we'll call it a day. And we'll get out of here. All right, go Dragon Breath and get the Paralysis, please. Spite. Oof, miss. Good. That's exactly what I wanted. Thank you. We're going to also use Dragon Breath again. You know what? This Pokemon is going to help me out big time with catching Pokemon. Dragon Breath has, like, what? A 30% chance to cause Paralysis? That's great. And having Ghastly on your team as a Ghost-type Pokemon? That's so good. Having- oh my gosh. We have a lot of the trading evolution Pokemon from Gen 1. It's so funny. So yeah, you better believe I'm gonna have a Ghastly on my team. 
That's so good. Ghastly. Uh, yeah. It's a, po it's a Pokemon born from poison gases. It defeats even largest foes by enveloping them in gas. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's time to say goodbye to our Staravia in lieu of this Pokemon. I love Ghastly. Goodbye. I mean, we're swapping out a lot of Pokemon here. All right, I want the Mr. Vest. Brown. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Mischievous. Misdrevious. <laughs> mean look. Okay, I'm not going anywhere, don't worry. Get paralyzed. Ow, that hurts. Astonish does not hurt me because I'm a normal type. Nice try. Get paralyzed, please. Whoa, what happened? What did you do? <laughs> what happened? Wait, what? It, what? Oh man, what memento? I'm sorry, I didn't even pay attention to what move that was. No, man. What? Ghastly? What the? Oh, good, you're back. I don't know what the heck that was. I didn't even see what move it used, but it KO'd itself. And that's not good, so I better catch this thing quick. I just need the paralysis really quick, thanks. Spite doesn't work first turn. Nice try. I need it one more time. Get the paralysis. Critical hit. Get the paralysis. Imprison. Okay. Thank you. I'm gonna catch. I'm, I'm going for the catch, man. Because I, I, I can't afford to. It's gonna KO itself. Yikes, man. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Okay, good, good, good. I only have three more, man. I could use my great ball. I could use my other ball, but... Please? Please? Can I have him? It's the end of the episode. Please? Come on! You ghost! In prison. Okay, I, I think I want to do one more. I'm going to do one more Dragon Breath. We're going to risk it. Astonish. We're getting really close. Here we go. I only have two more Pokeballs. We had an amazing adventure underground. I love this. There's so many Pokemon. Come on, why are you popping out, man? All right, last one. Last Dragon Breath, don't be a crit. Yeah. Okay, okay, we're here, we're here, we're here. That's it. This is it, you're in red and you're paralyzed. You have to go in the ball. On my last one, too. We risked it all. Oh my gosh, what? Hello? Dude, I don't, I don't. Oh man, dust ball, net ball. Here, have a great ball. Don't even think about it. Okay, good. Oh my gosh. Well, I can stay inside this area and catch all the Pokemon. But we have a Ghastly now. We got a lot of dudes. All right, Mr. Vest, see you later. And thank you so much. Didn't even read the Pokedex entry. Oh well. All right, I'm out. We're going to go up. That was fun. I don't know what the online functionality is, and I also don't know how to make myself a um, make myself a base yet. But we'll find that out a little bit later on. I don't really want to spend too much time uh, in our series messing around with the underground. We can do that at the end, I promise. Because if we're going to be out here trying to capture every single Pokemon, we're going to need to fully explore the underground. Um, so anyway, that was really fun. Yeah, that was really fun. We got two new Pokemon on our team here. And we didn't even get a chance to say hi. Uh, so everyone say hello to Swablu. Uh, Swablu is going to be pretty good. That's a normal flying type with Pokerus. Um, yeah, that's great. Natural Cure. Cool. Um, with plus special defense. So it's going to be really bulk bulky. It's got Dragon Breath and Play Rough. That's cool. Um, we also got a new teammate in the form of Ghastly. Um, why didn't this one have like, like the Ice Punch? Interesting. Why is it like glitching in the back? Weird. Okay, anyway, payback is good, uh, but we need like a shadow ball on it. Minus special attack? Ew. Gross. I don't know if I want this one anymore. Plus defense? Ew. Oh no, man. All right, well, we'll at least get it to Haunter and then we'll call it a day. But anyway, and then we also have a Geo dude, which still didn't evolve yet. But um, anyway, the team looks pretty cool. Honestly, they're all temporary. <laughs> I think maybe I'll keep Swablu 
Um, Luxio seems to be doing okay, and so does Kadabra. So we got a couple of spots that we're just trying to give experience to. Anyway, you guys are amazing. Let's uh, let's jump into back into the story mode, shall we? I think that'd be perfect. Anyway, you guys are the best. Thanks for watching. Woo, dude, the underground though. Hold on, hold on. Can we can we just talk about the underground for a second here and how cool that is? Can we just talk about that? Like we found so many cool Pokemon in there. I don't even know, man. I don't even know. That was really fun. I kind of want another Ghastly, though. <laughs> it's a pretty crummy nature on that Ghastly. That was actually really, really fun. Yeah, that mischievous that like just pieced out. He's like, I'm out of here. I've had enough. I'm done. Wow. Have you talked to the old man? He'll teach you how to make your base. Okay, I'll take a look. We're going to talk to him anyway, because he's got everything. So uh, maybe, maybe messing around with the old man in the base. Yeah, we can do that. All right. Yeah, Melissa, I don't know. Um, Underground seems pretty cool. I like the fact that you have destinations and you're not just like, you're not playing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, right? Where it's just randomly showing up. I like that there's a map, there's a destination, and each of the little caves might have something new. Although, there's still a part of me that's like, dude, that's kind of like cheating, man. These aren't wild Pokemon in the grass on the Route 207. Like, you can't, you can't do that. Like, how am I gonna get a Swablu right now in this episode? where everyone's gonna come into the stream and say, yo, where'd you get the Altaria from, right? Like, which route did you find that on? Like, no, I, I found it on Underground. It makes it a little easier and a little cheap, but I still think it's really fun that you're just able to do that and like get a whole bunch of Pokemon. Like these boxes are so cool. Like, what did we even find? We found like a level 20 Gastrodon that destroyed me. There's like a lot of stuff here. A 17 Machop, Mischievous, Theravia. Oh, yeah. We found a lot of cool Pokemon. You can easily just round out your team. Like that's that's the beauty about that. Anyway. Anyway, you guys ready for another round? Oh man, I totally am. I love this game. I love like ex experiencing Pokemon again. It's just so fun. Anyway, you guys are the best. Let's hit it. Let's jump in. Oh yeah, yeah. We probably got like maybe two more recordings. Maybe three? How many? I don't even know, man. I gotta take a look. Anyway. <laughs> uh, would you say the underground changes how Nuzlocks are played? Yeah, I would honestly say that if you're doing a Nuzlocke, you would probably not. You would probably ban the underground because you find so many rare Pokemon over there that you're like, oh, it doesn't matter. Like, I'll just get this level 20 Gastrodon that just is now the exact level of my entire team out of nowhere. Seems cheap, but play how you want, man. It's your game. No one's going to tell you how to play. Let's jump into this. Continuing on with the story mode. I don't even know where we are, man. Like, going underground is just so fun. Maybe. Oh, you know what? We're gonna do that post-game. We're just gonna explore every single base in the underground. It should be really good. And then we gotta get ourselves some statues. And I gotta find out what exactly the, the Togekiss statue does, or the Altaria statue, and what is that shiny mark on it? Like, I don't even know. It's cool that we found it, though. All right, let's jump in. Okay, welcome back. Uh, we're back with even more story mode of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Uh, previous episode, we explored the underground. It was amazing. We got some new teammates in the form of this Swablu, which is really great. Uh, we also have a Ghastly. And yeah, they're kind of cool, right? We'll just hold on to them until they evolve and uh, we'll see what's up. Swablu evolves really late in the game, though, so we'll have to see about that. All right, all right, all right. Give me a bike, please. Let's go see what's going on. We still have to explore all of this city and then see what's going on. Uh, the manager's gone off to the Team Galactic building and hasn't returned. I wonder what's holding him up. Okay, so we have to go see what's going on with the bike shop owner. Uh, most likely saving him because if we're able to save the bike shop owner, then maybe we might get rewarded with a bike. That's what I'm hoping here. All right, I'm here to buy. Let's buy some Pokeballs. Give me 10. Oh, we got a lot of money. Yeah, and it's time we uh, it's time we bust into the um, 
the super potions. Yeah, they're better than the regular potions? Absolutely. Uh, I'm gonna go for maybe like four awakenings. Uh, burn heals, I don't think we need. Escape rope, I'll buy like five of those. Sure, let's buy five escape ropes. Because you never know when you're gonna need them. And uh, repels are also very good. So I'll buy like ten of those. So we haven't gone, gone shopping in a long time. So it's always good to just have stuff, right? You never know. Pokeball and heal ball. Uh, you know what, I'll buy... I mean, we don't have great balls yet. So that's kind of unfortunate. Anyway, shopping is good. Let's move on. Hello. All right, Team Galactic building went up. Interesting, what is this? Eterna Condominiums. Name rating services available. Ooh, you can like have the name rater help you re-nickname your Pokemon. Can I get rid of... Oh, you are. Yeah, rate the name of Kaza. That's a terrible name. Uh, it's truly an impeccable name. Take good care of... Oh, come on. You still can't change the nickname of a traded Pokemon. Oh, dude, Buizel for Chatot? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Here we go. That means I'll have to catch another Buizel. Do you like Chatot? I mean, Chatot doesn't evolve, so this is just one more on the Pokedex. I think that's great. I like it, I like it. Chatot, baby. Chirap. Chirap. That's the name you put Chatot. Okay, hello. Uh, it keeps rhythm by flicking its tail feathers like a metronome. It also imitates human speech. Okay, cool. Awesome, Weasel, I promise I'll be good to it. Please take care of the chat top. All right, I will, thank you for trading. Uh, Superintendent, 24 hour watch, okay, good. Uh, Gardenia goes out to the forest every day. I wonder what she does there. Yeah, me too. Hello, Grandma, what's cooking? I've had these TMs for the move recycle for such a long time now. Oh, give me them. That's right, thank you. Recycle. Such a gimmicky move. Right, like, what does it do? It allows you to recycle your item? No. There's sparkling stones lying around the ground underground. Yes, there are. I gathered up a lot of stickers. Uh-huh. Yep, yep, yep. Cool. Uh, secret base. Just got another grate. Hey! Uh, okay, so... I want, I want a grate on my secret base. Alright, alright. I'm gonna go talk to that man. I want to set up a secret base so you guys can grade it. I don't know where I'm going to set it up, though. All right, all right, don't worry. We're still looking around, aren't we? That's the gym. Hello. Since you're visiting Eterna, you need to get yourself a, a ride down Cycling Road. Okay, all right. Oh, we haven't gone inside this house, so who's, who's living here? Nobody lives here. Abandoned house. Old man? Okay, yeah, 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 got it. Reminiscing on how old you are, I got it. All right, so we need to talk to this old man one more time, and then maybe he's gonna teach me something about a great house, or a great thing. How was it down there? Uh, yep, novice spelunker, many hidden things. Dig us some treasures for you. Check the radar, yep, we've already done that. Uh, here's your reward, a, a digger drill, I'm sorry. Digger drill. Uh, in the walls, uh, the ground underground to unearth things. It'll go straight into your bag. Spheres are special gems. Okay, what are you going to sign me next? Secret base. That's right. I will teach you how to make your own secret base. All you need is the digger drill I gave you earlier. Go to the underground and use the digger drill wherever you like. It will instantly create your very own secret base. So we have to make a secret base. All right, we're going to do that really quick and then we're going to move on. Because I just think it's so fun. The grand underground. Uh, we are going to just play alone. See you later. What happens if we go on the internet? Oh, cool! Yeah, let's make this a secret base. Oh, dang! I would like to go in. Check that out! Wow, a ball! What is this? Place a statue. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh, what does this do? The Toga Kiss statue. It's Animal Crossing now. Okay, statue list, confirm. Okay, now what? Why is this jade? What does this do? Someone explain, statue effect. 
slightly raises the appearance of fairy type Pokemon. Okay. Now, what else is that? Okay. Cool. Now what? Alright, I like fairy type Pokemon, they're great. Give me a Togekiss, and give me like a Togepi. Alright, uh, so now that we made ourselves a secret base, we put our little statues in it that we got from the previous episode. Let's talk to Old Man. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Cool, thank you for quick balls, thank you for dive balls. Uh-huh. If you wish to move your secret base, you'll need to obtain another digger drill. You can trade spheres from underground. Okay, what should you have? Okay, yep, yep. Uh-huh. I already did that. Here's your reward. A square pedestal? Yeah, I don't... I guess you can learn a lot about this. Okay, a secret base of their own. I found someone's secret base. Another pedestal. I mean, I don't know what this stuff is. We'll find out later. Okay, the power of statues. Does that only affect what's happening underground? Or is it just like in general? Eterna. Wow, Eterna City. All right, let's go. Oh my gosh, my favorite trainer. Who is this? Oh, is that a Pokedex? You must be helping Professor Rowan. What's your name? Oh, hello, Abdallah. I'll be sure to remember that name. My name is Cynthia, and I'm a trainer just like you. I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately, just out of curiosity. Here in Eterna City, there's a statue of an ancient Pokemon. According to myth, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows? You may encounter something like, uh, like it while you're traveling with your Pokedex. Try using these. They should help you on your way. Couple TM93s, well, what do we got? Cut? Oh, gross. All right, that's good. Uh, you can use the hidden move cut from your Pokecatch in the field. It'll let you go places that were inaccessible. Try filling up your Pokedex. All right, cool. Well, thank you so much. It was a pleasure meeting you. Do I need a badge to cut? Oh, I do need a badge to cut. Cool. Well, thank you, Cynthia, for hooking me up with that. I'm never going to use those TMs. Why would you ever do that? Herb shop. Whoa, 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 whoa. Give me some of that revival herb. That is like a full max revive. May I please spend all of my money on those? Thank you. Uh, yeah. Bitter medicine. Restore 120 HP. Whatever. That's a lot. Yeah, give me these. Who cares if it's bitter medicine, man? That's some, like, that's some poor man's, like, max revive right there. <laughs> Don't feed it to your Pokemon. It won't, the Pokemon won't like you. Dude, I know. You think that matters? No way, man. All right. That's so good. Yo, this is, like, the herb shop where you get that cheap stuff. You get the goods. All right, moving on. We're getting some really fun stuff. I'm broke, though, so we need to start doing some more battles. Hello, you two, standing on your mats. Okay, yep, 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 yep. Eterna City, home of the older people. Have you seen a Pokemon statue? Oh, I have not seen a Pokemon statue yet. Hey, you there, stay away from that Pokemon statue. Team Galactic is conducting an official investigation here. Which Pokemon statue are we talking? Oh, gosh. <gasps> wow. They say this is a Pokemon that lived long, long ago. Cool. There's something writing, writing on it. Pal, once created, brought forth the many dimensions. All things alive or not, all rye at the same space. Such is the blessing of Pal. Ooh, Pal who? That looks like a Dialga to me. The text is barely legible and is faded completely in places. That's fun. Oh, this is the herb shop. Yeah, sorry, peeps. All right, so that was interesting. Yeah, yeah, that's a cool little statue. Uh, this seems to be like a uh, Route 211. I don't think I'm supposed to go on this route yet. I need to go see where what's her name is. The Gardenia. We need to go get ourselves a badge today. And I don't have cut, so I can't access that. So let's go inside Gardenia's gym. Let's see what she's got to say for herself. And uh, can we make it through? Oh, hi, you're already here. 
Oh, hey there. How's it going, champ to be? Actually, uh, that's what I said to some boy who zipped in here earlier, too. The gym leader, Gardenia, is a user of Grass-type Pokemon. Oh, great. It should be obvious, but Grass-type Pokemon really hate fire. Oh, wait a second. I should tell you about the gym itself. You can't challenge the gym leader until you find and beat all the gym trainers who've hidden themselves. It's a bit challenging, but just think of it as a good training and go for it. All right. Hello. At my gym, no one gets to battle with the gym leader until they've beaten all the other trainers. I'll be waiting for you in the back. Good luck. Oh my gosh, this is cool! Yeah, this is exactly like it was before. Oh, I see you. I see you. Peekaboo. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, I see. Oh, I see you. I see you hiding right there. How did you know where to find me? Let's have our battle. Oh my gosh. Monferno is going to destroy this entire gym. Single-handedly. And we don't even have to baby any other Pokemon. Alright, Truby, let's go. You're done. Bad pie. Alright, so we're gonna earn ourselves a badge by the end of this episode. And then we'll be able to cut, which will allow us to go into that one uh, Team Galactic building that some people were saying some random stuff is happening. Yeah, I'm excited. And look at the background, too. You got, like, the stadium lights. You got all these trees. Yeah, that's really fun. Do we think the trees are real? Or do we uh, think that the trees are not so real? It's inside of a gym. So maybe, maybe it was just a forest? And now it simulates sunlight? Yeah, maybe. Maybe it's a greenhouse? I don't know. It's cool. All right, so two more. Oh, that's a rock. Uh, is there any? Is there any leader here? Oh my gosh. Hello. Where are you? Oh, you were hiding there. My grass type Pokemon can dole out some serious special attacks. Hello. Aroma Lady Jenna. Hi. Monferno is destroying these guys. Flame Wheel, done. This is cool. When your starter aligns up with a gym that you have clear advantage of, that just feels great. It feels great. Monferno had the type advantage on the first two gyms. I think the only thing that he's going to have a hard time with is Crash or Wake. I don't, I mean, unless he's learning Grass Knot right now. I could take on Crash or Wake. What are we doing? Flame Wheel, Mock Punch, Power Up Punch, Grass Knot? That seems like a pretty good four move set. The more beautiful a flower, the faster it withers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. Not sorry. Oh, that's right. A hint about the next trainer. In the middle of three trees. That's it for my hint. Okay, in the middle of three trees. Let me see where I can find that person. Oh my goodness. Uh, uh, whoa, what is this? What is that? Is that an item? Oh, that's a person. Uh, even when you try to conceal it, you can't hide the aroma of flowers. I guess. Alright, you got a Turtwig! Oh, I love Turtwig! Yeah, yeah, I love it so much that I didn't choose it for my starter. Here we go. Boom. Literally one hit KOing the entire gym. Wow, how do you do it, man? <laughs> Your next opponent is besides four flowers. One, two, three, four flowers. Oh, there you are. You found me, of course I'll battle you. Okay, so four trainers. We got them. Now Gardenia should show up. Lindsay. Ooh, look at this NPC. I love the tank top. Oh, and that belt looks fabulous. And those heels? Man. I love this NPC. What is this? Is this a beauty NPC? So good. 
All right, we're all leveling up. Look at this team, man. Remember I liked Gastrodon for a hot minute? Uh, we will not be learning Curse with a Ghastly, absolutely not. And she's also wearing like a chain bracelet? What? Interesting. There's only our gym leader left. Go on, don't be afraid. Yep, Gardini just like popped up. And she's like, all right, I'm ready for this battle. I have taken zero damage thus far. I'll turn on combat animations for this one, uh, just because it'll be pretty fun to see. All right, and then now, here we go. Pokemon. Yep, I took zero damage. My flame wheel is looking really good right now. Hello. Hi. You kept me waiting. I'm Eterna's gym leader, Gardenia, the grass-type master. When I first saw you, I was convinced you'd find your way to me. My hunch was right on the money. You have a winning aura about you. So anyway, this will be fun. Let's have our battle. What is that hair? Is she... Is that, like, highlights? What's with the black underneath? Is that a... I don't know. I couldn't even tell you. <laughs> I'm trying to define her hair right now. Anyway, uh, so here's a Boodoo! Oh no, it's not a Boodoo, it's a Cherubi. I got 18 of these Flame Wheels, enjoy. Donk on ya. Yikes. I should have Power Up punched a little bit. Ooh, that would have been so insane. Uh, Turtwig? I'm good. Oh, look at how happy it is! Look at how happy this first stage evolution is. Get owned! Yikes. What level are these Pokemon? Kazaa learned to recover. Great. Roserade. That's the good Pokemon. This is going to be a lo Oh, man. It's not the end yet. Is this your specialty? Dang. That's a fully evolved Pokemon right there. Level 22. Yikes. Oof. Ouch. Nine hundred and ninety-two experience. Yikes. You're gonna lose faint? Uh no, I don't think I'm gonna learn that. Sorry. It's not a good move. Geodude. Alright, Gardenia, nice to meet ya. Amazing, you're very good, aren't you? Look at those those hands. Okay. She's very happy. I like how spunky she is. I might have said it before, but you're really tough. Uh, wasn't it hard for you to raise your Pokemon to be so good? I guess that's uh, a measure of how much you love your Pokemon. In recognition of that, I proudly grant you this. The second badge. You received the forest badge. Hey, round of applause. We did it. Super hard. I know, very hard. With the forest badge, the hidden move cut will be available from your Poketch. Now that you have two gym badges, all Pokemon you received in trades will obey you up to level 30. I've got something else for you. These are a gift for me. Stickers! Hey, that's exciting. And TM86. Is this Grass Knot? Yeah, Grass Knot. Okay, Grass Knot is good. Infernape. Yep, the heavier the Pokemon, the more damage this move will cause. Okay, that was really fun. Can I, uh, can I have a little Grass Knot right now? Because that's going to be so good for our Infernape. Yeah, this is perfect. Wow, I can even give this to my Kaza, uh, but I'm not going to. Okay, so we need to get rid of Taunt. I don't like that they break, man. I'm still, I'm still on that team where I don't like the breakable TMs. I don't know how we're gonna get more of them. I'm worried. Like, if you're done with the... They're a lot more valuable nowadays, you know? Like, yo, who's got an extra Grass Knot TM to spare? Yo, can you attach that to a Pokemon and trade it over to me? Like, that's the conversation that you're going to be having. I don't know, man. Uh, Monferno looks good. How much power points do you have for your moves? Do you need a healing? Yeah, you need a little bit of a healing. Let's go. So, what do you think? Um... What do we think about the TM and their usability? Is that 
something that you're kind of bummed out about, that it's not infinite usability, so you just get them and you just permanently have them and you can teach them to anyone. I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, let's let's take a look. Let's take a look at our um, our trainer card. Uh, view badges. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, I don't know how you're going to be able to um, polish said badges. There's no option to do it on the bottom. It says open case and back. So yeah, I don't know where you're getting that idea from. But anyway, I know you could polish badges in the previous game, which is kind of fun. All right, anyway, Gardenia, done. Let's kind of uh, continue over here and let's see what's up with this new building. Galactic Eterna building. Ooh. All right, guys. Hello, it's me. Welcome uh, to Team Galactic. Are you here to donate your Pokemon? What? You're not? Kindly get off our property. Do we have to bring the pain like we did the Cycle Shop Manager? Bring the pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good luck with that. All right, give me a double battle. Let's go. We're gathering Pokemon for an astonishing undertaking. Your meddling won't be tolerated. All right. Sorry, dearie. Team Galactic doesn't accept children as members. Whoa, whoa. Yo, we got a female grunt over here. Wurmple and Zubat. This is fine. I can actually play with Kaza now. Kaza. All right, Wurmple, eat a flame wheel. Enjoy. Zubat, eat a confusion. Enjoy. Look at that. The first time we use Kaza in any kind of battles. I'm here to donate Pokemon. Yeah, I got a couple extra Pokemon. What are you guys using the Pokemon for? Like, I'm, I'm very generous. I will gladly donate. What do we got? Glammeow. Ba -ba -ba -bing. Cascoon. Yeah, sorry. We have super effective moves for all of these guys. Unless Glammeow is gonna just fake me out. Confusion's gonna be great. Later, Cascoon. Yup. Oh my gosh. Tried to outspeed it, but no, man. That plus three priority is too good. At least got a little chip damage on me. Oh, with a big tackle. Yikes. Oh, yeah, I use Mach Punch. Yeah, that's uh, not the best. That's okay. We got Cadaver that'll help finish it off. Oh, I've got battle animations on. That's why it's taking so long. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me turn that off. All right, later, Grunties. Oh, I got meddled with. But, dearie, you're just a kid. I'm not just a kid. Wow. A single a kid is going to single-handedly take down all of Team Galactic right now and save the bike shop owner. Oh, look at all these guys learning. I'm working hard to find new energy sources. Good. More power to you. Our objectives are incredible, too incredible for me to understand. I will fight blindly to defend them, and your intrusion won't be forgiven. Fighting blindly? Yeah, I don't know about that. But, I mean, if you believe in a cause, maybe? Alternative sources of energy? Like, I'm all about that. What's wrong here? Allow me to join Team Galactic, right? Like, I would be your leader in two seconds, because I could easily destroy everyone. <laughs> Another Zubat? No, we're good, man. All right, so Team Galactic has some sort of mission that involves renewable new energies. And I think I'm into that. I think I'm into that. What was I fighting for again? I don't know, man. I don't know what you're fighting for. Let's see how good this Pokemon is. I stole it from some weak trainer. <laughs> oh my gosh, can you imagine? Can you imagine, like, you're 10 years old and you set out to start your Pokemon adventure and the only Pokemon that you can capture was a Silcoon because all it did was, like, tackle. And then that was your only Pokemon. And then this lady comes over here and says, Hey, kid, give me that! And, like, takes your Pokeball. Like, oh no, my Silcoon! 
What? Yeah, what is this? I don't know, honestly. I need like an amulet coin. I need to get some more money. These guys are not giving me any money. We're conducting research on new forms of energy. We want to harness the mysterious power of Pokemon. Cool! I'm in! I believe in your message! That's great! Why, thank you. We love it when people come to us to donate their Pokemon. Yeah, see, they're just a donation facility. People just like, they're like, they don't want their Pokemon anymore, like that one kid in his Silicoon? Alright, just donate it! Man, I love Team Galactic. Yo, I'm drinking the Kool-Aid right now. We are drinking that Kool-Aid. Let's go. Wurmple done. Alright, here's another Silcoon. We're good. At least these battles go relatively quickly. And we're just beating stuff up. I mean, we got the perfect Pokemon for it. It's like real easy mode almost, it seems. Zubat done, man. Boom. Flame Wheel. We are just trashing these guys. Team Galactic Run. Goodbye. What do you think you're doing? What do we think we're doing? We're trying to join Team Galactic. Ordinary people like you can't understand Team Galactic's grand designs. Come to think of it, I don't even know what's going on. Our mission is to implement our operations without question. It is uh, all for the New World Order that our boss will lead. Mm, okay, that kind of seems a little culty. And this guy looks a little scary. Travon? Oh, with a Kadabra? Nice! Yeah, that would hurt a lot if this Kadabra outsped me. But he's not going to survive a flame wheel, so good luck. <laughs> That's level 15 Kadabra! What happened, man? If Abra evolves at 16, how'd you get a lower one? How does that work? Yo, 26 with Kazaa, man. Kazaa's not even battling and it's like leveling up just as much as this Infernape. This won't go unpunished. See ya. Alright, hello. It's the bike person. Uh, what is with this Team Galactic? Why do they take our Pokemon? What are they trying to accomplish? You know what? I don't know. Hello, wh why don't we talk to this nice little person with some new hair? Eh, did you want something? It's the commander. How silly of me to even ask. You want to free the Pokemon? Yeah, that's gonna happen. A new galactic commander? Who could this be? Whoa, hello! Jupiter? Yo, we fought Mars not too long ago. Now we're fighting Jupiter? Oh, with your Zubat. Hello. Wow, look at her outfit. Yo, that's an exposed thigh right there. That's like one leg pant? It's cool. Alright, later Jupiter, thank you. I'm here to collect Pokemon and save the bike shop owner so I can earn myself a bike. Skun tank? No thanks. How insolent. Take a bite of this, child. Oh, that's cool. I love that dialogue. Aftermath. Wow, poison gas. No, poisoned. Wow, that hurts so much. Skun tank hurts. This thing's strong. Flamethrower? What are you doing? I can't just press A to win against this thing? Oh no, Snarl. Oh my gosh. Hello? And my poison damage? Wow, this thing. And you- wow. Okay, okay, here we go. Power punch. I should have power up punched right- Aftermath! Yow! Four hundred eighty-five. Oh my gosh. Luxio's roar? No. No, we are not learning roar. Oh, that was it for Jupiter. Cool. Losing to some child being careless cost me too much. Wow, 1840. Oh, that's good. Thank you, Jupiter. It was a pleasure meeting you. Well, aren't you tough? It's okay, though. Our official Pokemon statue investigation is finished, and Mars has collected energy from the Valley Windworks. We're pretty much finished here. I'll let you in on one little thing. Our boss is researching the myths of ancient Pokemon. With the power of mythical Pokemon, he will become the ruler of Sinnoh. 
Whoa. I suggest you keep out of Team Galactic's affairs from now on. This is your last warning. I got my Clefairy back, and that's all thanks to you, but that Team Galactic, they said Clefairy came from space, hand it over. Their logic baffles me still. It's like they're from space. Anyway, they're gone now. Thank you very much. I can't thank you enough right now, but cruise by the cycle shop, okay? Uh, that's great. Um, yeah. Cool. Oh, look, and everyone evacuated and left their laptops here? Or maybe these are public computers. Give me that. Oh, dang it. Always check the trash cans. They're all gone. Jupiter's like, all right, everyone. Roll out. Make like a mill tank and roll out. <laughs> Make like Whitney's mill tank and roll out. All right. Well, 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 well. We are done with this one. Ooh, we did a lot on today's episode, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Ooh, we did a lot on today's episode. We got ourselves a new badge. We beat up Jupiter. We made ourselves an underground base. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I love this game. It's a great game. We hope to see you again. As usual, right? Man, so much fun. All right, well, 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 tons of stuff happening. I don't even know where we are at in this game. So if I remember correctly, we get the bike next up, and then we get to access new areas, and then maybe another gym. I think our Monferno is so strong. It's borderline easy mode at this point. Like, honestly, with the experience share and everything like that, we're, we're storming through this game. Uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, we're using him in a backup of Kadabra. And the rest of these slots are just, like, passive experience to get Pokedex. That's kind of how we're playing this. Honestly, I don't really care too much about the other ones. But, hey, you know what? It's a fun time. And I'm having a blast seeing all the different things that have changed from this game uh, to the, the older ones. Right? Like seeing all the differences. Anyway, it's a great time. Let's jump into another one, shall we? That should be really good. We'll see you in a little bit. All right, what are we doing? Taking a little breather? Oh man, that was good. Two and a half hours. Oh man, we're playing Pokemon all day, aren't we? Hi guys, what's up? Oh, that's so funny. We are playing Pokemon all day. This is so great. So I'm glad that you guys are having a fun time with this. Uh, I think that I'm going to set up the third live stream and then we're all just gonna head over there. So if you guys are cool with it, give me a thumbs up. I gotta take a little stretch break and uh, just go get some liquids and like stay hydrated for this. But yeah, it's a great little live stream. Keep it around like two hours to two and a half hours. We got some chapters in the works for all that stuff so you can easily uh, easily see what's going on with it. So anyway, I'm going to make the part three public right now Which should be fine and exciting uh, And then I'm gonna go over here and we are going to share it and then I'll show you guys exactly what's going on So anyway jump in Jump in right over here. This is the part three. I'll take a look at my main channel page and see what else we got going on Should be fun, man. Oh Yeah, part three is upcoming. Oh, it's perfectly. It's already there love it. Uh, what time are we going to do part three? That's a good question. It is currently 105. Let's, uh, let's take a little half hour breather. I think that should be really good. So let's do, um, let's do like 140, maybe like 145. That should be perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's do that in a little bit. Give me like half an hour, stretch up, see what else is going on in the world of Pokemon, and uh, we should have a really, really good time. I'm I'm loving this game. I'm glad that you guys are enjoying it along with me. Uh, so what do you think about it, Princess Luca, Xenoblader? Uh, T-Man, Lainey, what do you guys think? Game's cool, yeah? Man, it's just like another fun Pokemon game, just to enjoy, and just have a great time. With it. Just experience it all again. I just want to get to post-game. I want to get to breeding. I want to start breeding some starters, passing them out to people. Uh, breeding for like nature's getting a whole bunch of ditto. I think that'll be so so good. So all right anyway Let's all go take a look at the brand new live stream. It should be uh, it should be up it should be public yeah, 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 there's a ton of you guys over here already just chilling. So give it like 30 minutes. Let's take a look bing bing right here boom Okay, part three happening on the channel you guys have the link the game is or youtube is actually going to redirect you over here so go grab a, a little drink 
go grab something to eat and then we're gonna jump in for another couple of hours and then we're just going to repeat the exact same thing all day until we're done with this game and then we'll we'll get some rest and we'll do it all again tomorrow it should be a really fun time so uh shout outs to all the people over here uh Ainz, af what's up dark angel colin deanna j max xenoblader uh amiibo trainer gamer mom kelly uh aiden mckenzie all of you guys hanging out over here, here. no i didn't say anything don't do that siri <laughs> no one's paying attention to you Anyway, uh, you guys have the link. Uh, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Uh, you guys are the best. Thanks so much for watching. I'm going to go get a little uh, breather. I'm going to go rest my eyes a little bit because I am like sleepy. Like playing, dude, I did not get any sleep last night. <laughs> so I'm waking up so early for this game, man. All right. Uh, it's going to be a great time. So look forward to it. It'll be here before you know it. Thanks again for supporting everything that we got going on over here. Um, of course, if you guys didn't already pick up one of these Abdallah Smash plushies, it's the last week for it. So don't ever miss out. These are going to be gone. Uh, and you guys can get a little plush digital production design along with it too. That's kind of cool. Yeah, so do that. Get that. And then, uh, of course, the Mystery of Legend T. I cannot wait for mine to come in the mail so I can wear it. It's so, so good. Uh, anyway, anyway, uh, you guys got it right over here. Uh, keep it locked to our channel for even more Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. We're going to, uh, yeah, continue on over here. It's going to be a good time. So, yes, that is it. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Oh, yeah, and we're also doing a giveaway. So there's a link in the description for a giveaway link. Yeah, do that. All you have to do is be subscribed. It's that simple. Help us reach 900,000 very soon. So, all right, that's all I got for right now. We'll see you guys in a little bit for part three.